show you that then. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's just very subtle. The yeah, 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 just a little bit of um, fullness, so isn't it? So the same on the other side. side. Oh, me. So now at the moment, have we got a front and a back, or are they both identical at the moment? The only really difference, I would say, is your yoke. Oh, of course, because yeah. you've got a very shallow yeah. neck at the back, and of course you're having a deep one yeah. at the front, yeah. yeah. But again, like, I don't think there's... I wouldn't look at one and think, oh, you've got to use that at front. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's quite... Yeah. Right, do the exact same now on this one. Busy, busy, busy. Mm -hmm. Although I thought it were quiet today. What, out there? Yeah, like, car park seems quieter than normal. Oh, is it? Maybe the office... What day of the week is it? It's Friday, isn't it? So maybe they're, maybe they're working from home today, a lot of people. Oh, it's full now. It's absolutely chock-a-block oh, now, the full it? car park, yeah. They'll all have come in late, that's why. Oh, well, no, because you arrived at what time? Seven. Yeah, exactly. It's My normally a bit is... busier though when I get here. At that time, it's normally busier than what it was. Oh, okay. Mm. I um, uh, I thought yes, but I thought it was busier today because it um. My normal space was, I normally park right outside the door and I couldn't today. They were all full of, so I don't know mm. if they, they had more people on the evening shift or what. Maybe. Right. Yeah, whoever it is, they're just standing in the corridor chatting. That's all. Oh, there they all are, shouting now. Lots of people in Christmas jumpers today. Yeah. next year i'll probably have a new christmas jumper next year Will you? yeah i was gonna make one to be fair this year but I, i've never what a jumper oh it's a sweatshirt yeah i was gonna like applique some kind of a motif on but i never got round to no. it no this is the trouble with christmas you can't think oh next year i'll do this bit and i'll do that and i'll be more organized and i'll mm. you know never are always. i always say i'm gonna do my christmas shopping earlier and no. i never do never do Right, okay, so we've got our two yokes on now. Yep. So I'm gonna do, turn it back the right, inside out, so I can do all the shoulder seams next. Right. So you can sort of see that. Yeah. That, that bit comes together quite, quite quickly, yeah. really. Right. So yeah, I'm gonna turn this the right side. So it's on the inside. Da -da. And I'm just going to pop them shoulder seams right sides together and I'm going to stitch across, them yeah. together. I don't think me interfacing my right stuck down on that piece yeah, there. Thing is, in real life I, you'd have yeah, ironed that, that for a bit longer, a, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would have used a bigger iron, I think, as well. show you the sleeves next and then we've got all those components ready okay that's what we're looking like so far lovely so again looks like a completely different dress it doesn't, doesn't it? it so it sleeves next is it then yes i'm gonna do i like to get all my components ready yeah so i've done one already anyway you might only have time to do one, I'm afraid. Yeah, so, um, basically, on your pattern, you have two little dots that you need to mark on. Right. Um, because we do like an easing stitch. Oh, so okay. Like a, like a gathering stitch. Yeah, on the top. I, I always tend to, depend, depending on how much excess fabric you end up with, I suppose, depends whether you end up with quite a lot of. I mean, I've got quite a. I tend to move mine so it is. Kind of looks a bit like a puff sleeve, then, yeah, yeah. and I quite like the look of that to yeah. be fair. So I'm gonna try and get 
transfer these dots on. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing things all over the place. Oh, well, it's because uh, you're angry. I am actually, I'm really angry. Right. So I've just used a friction pen for that, uh -huh. for there on. And I'm just going to do um, row of stitches just within my seam allowance. Yep. Uh, from dot to dot. Okay. And I'm just going to. Have you already got one done? Yes. Don't bother doing that one because I'm worried right. you're going to run out of time because we have to stop for yarn lane at 12. We can't run but over then, you, so. Right sides together and I want to stitch so down, down the side. side seam there. Brilliant. Pull that back. But I, do, I think it is quite a quick a quick make really yeah. once you've... Yeah. Um, especially if you're quite used to doing, you know, a few different dressmaking projects. Yeah. Then the idea of your easing stitch um, is because a lot of time you have more fabric than what will fit into your armhole. Mm -hmm. So you can pull at these to get a little bit of gather, kind of what, like what I've done in this. Yeah. Just so that it fits um, nice and easy. Okay. And then, so you, you, when you uh, put them in, do you match the underarm seam? Yes. So I would do it, obviously, I know we haven't got the facing on, but it would be the exact same. This is how I always do it. Yeah. So I always look at it, what it would look like if it was attached. Yeah. And then I grab both side seams. Yeah. And then I tend to Push pull that over yeah. like that, keeping hold of that. Yeah. Obviously, then you can gather that to fit and yeah. then you would sew. So all the way around. Then how does the next bit work then with the facing? You so can talk the, us through it, you don't need to sew it The facing. Yeah, so you put both sleeves in I can't remember whether I did the sleeves first or after, to be fair. No, I did the sleeves after. Oh, okay. It told me to do the sleeves after. Right, okay. So, this would go, obviously I'd need to do the shoulder seams on there. Yeah, so oh, I see, done. yeah, 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 yeah. You would slip that over the top and you would sew around the neckline and around the armhole and then push it through. Yeah. And then obviously put, put the sleeves, sleeves in. in. And then hem the sleeves. And then I, I um, it tells you to like press underneath your facing so that then you can hand stitch like I hand stitched. Yeah. I won't be able to see really. We are oh messing, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I've like hand, hand stitched, stitched all the facing down so it looks nice and neat on the inside. So although you don't necessarily need the arm all face, it does, yeah, it does finish it off quite nice. Right, oh hang message. Morning or May Christmas, could you show me SJ6676? Yes, Penelope, this is it here. Before we go, 1999. Beautiful, 1999. Been very popular today. Right, before I go, because I've got to go for Yarn Lane, I'll just recap the book very quickly. Very, very popular book. Lotta Jan's Dotter. Um, everyday patterns, easy sew pieces to mix and match. £19.99. pence. There you go. And all the fabrics are listed underneath us on the Facebook, uh, not the Facebook page, on the, on the website. Now, do you want to say anything to ladies and gentlemen before you go? Have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year and I'll see you in January. And thank you obviously for this year as well because you voted me Sewing Star winner. So thank you for that. And yeah, I've had a lovely time this year. So thank you for having me. Good, brilliant. Don't go anywhere because straight after this break, oh no, I've got to tell you about, mind you about this. 6 99 calendar. Six ninety nine. There should be twelve ninety nine. We took it to nine ninety nine. Haley took it to six ninety nine. There you go. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out. Six ninety nine. Shouldn't have been six ninety nine at all. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Right. Okay. Thank you, Emily. Have Thank a lovely you very Christmas, much. You and too. I'll see you in four minutes with Yarn Lane clearance. It's Emma from the Swift Quilting Company. Just wishing everybody at Sewing Street and all the viewers a very happy Christmas. Cheers! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello everyone, Staffine Brooks here. I just wanted to come in here and say Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a fantastic day and a happy and healthy new year. It's been a great year spending time with you and being able to sew with you as well and create loads of new projects. Uh, bring on 2023 where we'll hopefully have lots of new projects for you and get to meet some more of you as well. Anyway, take care, stay safe and Merry Christmas. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! So, what are you doing on Christmas Day? Come and join me and Alison, Mary and Mary and Alison from 8 till 12 on Sewing Street. I know, we've got William Morris fabrics, we've got a William Morris quilt and we're going to be reading out your Christmas messages. So you need to get them in now, right? And you need to send them to studio at sewingstreet.com. That's studio at sewingstreet.com. Come and join us, we have such a lovely time. Remember though, it's only 8 till 12 on Christmas Day. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to all our <laughs> wonderful viewers. It's you guys who make it happen. We just hear. Oh, yeah. Right. See you on Christmas Day. See you um, after Christmas Day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. I'm Sandy from Family Comforts and I'm here to wish you all a really happy Christmas. Everyone here at Sewing Street and all the Sewing Street family, I hope you have a really merry, crafty Christmas. I've really enjoyed my first year here on Sewing Street and hope that I can bring you lots of great demos in the coming year. Here's to a really happy, healthy and peaceful Christmas. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. 
and pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, welcome to Yarn Lane. Uh, I've got a calendar at Yarn Lane. Look, I've got the Sewing Street, John's got Sewing Street calendar at Yarn Lane if you want to come about. Here we go, oh, hello, Kat. Uh, no, and do you know what, Kat, look at the price. It's meant to be twelve ninety nine. Look what Haley did. I uh, know. Uh, no, it's how much a month? It's not even a pound. Oh, I didn't even think of it like that. It's not even a pound a month, is it? Anyway, it's gorgeous. It's lovely. We love it. And it's six ninety nine. Make sure you check out. Make sure you buy it for lots of friends. And uh, I can have me in your sewing room or your knitting room all year long next year. Right, yarn lane clearance. Yarn lane clearance. Just what we want. Uh, Kat, are you going to be sending us a menu today? Oh, make a change. Yeah. Look, he's got to concentrate. Bye. Right, where are we starting? Wool. No, yarn. 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 Which one? Oh, don't do that to me. Tell me a colour, because look how many are on here. <laughs> Bo Peep Luxury Baby. Thank you. In what colour? Uh, that one there, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Got it. So we've not got a colour. Carousel, Bo Peep, Luxury Baby, Four Play. Yeah, it doesn't got a colour on it. Weird, isn't it? Here we go, $3.99. Uh, now this is, the make of this is 52% Falkland wool, 48% nylon, £2.99. £2.99. I don't know if there was on the table, Cap. I've lost a little envelope for the um, rotary, uh, for the um, tracing wheel from the last hour. We'll find it. Right, two ninety nine, two pound ninety nine. Make sure you go through. Now, where's my box to, to put this in afterwards? At two ninety nine. Lots of brilliant, brilliant bargains this hour. Right, I've also got it in the pale blue. <laughs> this one's already be selling, this one. Here we go, you know where it's going, 2 pounds 99 pence. Gorgeous, isn't it? So again, 52% Falkland wool, 48% nylon. For babies this is, isn't it? It's for children's. Oh, sailboat, the colour must be sailboats. I wonder what the colour was on the last one then. Never mind, don't worry. At two ninety nine, two pounds ninety nine pence. Keep going through. Keep going through. Yeah, it doesn't. I couldn't see it. Anyway, next. Oh, that was rubbish. <laughs> I've got a box. I meant to get them in, and I keep missing. Right, what colour are you going to next then? I can't, I can't hear a word he's saying. We'll have a look at it now. It's fibre spades, coop knits, kunzite socks. Yeah! 50 grams. Kunzite must be pink then, mustn't it? Where's the picture? Oh, what? There, there, there. SDF. Yeah, there you go. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, this one's not crashing. This one's already crashed. This one's already crashed. So it's uh, socks, yeah, by Coop Knits, or is that Co-op Knits? 75% fine wash merino wool, 25% nylon, 
uh, 2.25 uh, um, needles. Merino wool, remember? Now, we did merino wool the other day, especially bread, for its uh, quality. It has hypoallergenic uh, thingies and it uh, absorbs uh, smells. You won't smell. And it's uh, regulatory. Uh, when you're hot, it goes cool. And when you're cool, it goes hot. £3.78. Next. Yeah, Malachite. This again is your socks. Yeah, Koopnitz. 75% fine superwash merino wool. So now, will I be able to make a whole pair of socks with one ball? Can't tumble dry it. £3.78. We th How do you say so chirpy, John, for five hours? Uh, inside, Julie. I'm not chirpy inside. Oh, I'm so not chirpy inside. Four left. And there's four in baskets. Oh, God, rubbish. Right, next. Dusk. Is it what? It's not a sock, though. Pink. It's pink. It's that one. It's that one. This is exquisite. That might have helped. W West Yorkshire Spinners exquisite. 80% Falkland wool. 20% silk. Beautiful. How much was it? 14.75. Oh, five pounds off. Five pounds off. Beautiful. Feels lovely. Made in Yorkshire. Uh, Colour is dusk. Four ply. And there's 400 metres on there. Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Th this is four ply, this one. Loads of that gone in baskets. Beautiful. <sighs> Exquisite in a blue. Kensington, yep. Yeah. You know where it's going. You know where it's going. £9.75, £5 off. Ben likes this one, but don't let that put you off. It's just a saying. It's true. West Yorkshire Spinners, exquisite. It's love, this feels beautiful. It's got silk in it, mulberry silk in it. I don't know. I wonder what for, uh, Falkland, I wonder what's special about Falkland sheep then for their wool. Oh, because the weather's so horrible, it must be a really good, you know, good quality, mustn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh, well done, Kat. Yep. Yeah. Right, next. I haven't got any more exquisite now. I imagine it's that one. What's the, what's the number? O-H. It's West Yorkshire must be that one. Yeah, here you go. Now, isn't that funny? I'd have gone straight for that one as well for chocolate lime. That one to me is not chocolate lime. That's apple to me. Granny Smith apple, that is to me. 4.75. Oh, there's only one. Oh, that's no good to anyone then, is it? No, let's move on. That's one of these, isn't it? What's the code? FHA. Yeah, I thought it was this one here. Oh, no, the picture's rubbish on the website because, look, it's variegated. 13.34. This was for, again, they should put in the patterns that these are for because otherwise it's useless to everyone, isn't it? Um, this was Annika, Annika Alice, wasn't it? In a lovely crocheted shawls and everything. Beautiful, isn't it, though? Zorba flower, this one is. Four ply yarn. Lovely the way it look at the colour. Beautiful. And the quality is exquisite as well, the way it's been dyed. Okay, so it's called Middle Earth because why? Okay, Ben thinks it's because it looks like Earth. 
yeah, moving on. Oh, I'm not doing very well. Okay, next. Number. I haven't got that one. I fear that's it again. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? That way that's been wound. Shuffle greenhorn, Zorba ball, four plates is cotton, this one. It's your price, £7.38. Beautiful. Keep going through. Very, very popular, this one. Looks like a cabbage, doesn't it? Oh, I tell you what, uh, Dulcie made the most beautiful red cabbage. I don't know what you do with red cabbage, but it was warm and sweet and everything. It was delicious. Oh, it was very, very sweet. Yeah, it was beautiful. Beautiful. I've, oh no, I didn't have red cabbage. I like, uh, what's the beetroot stew? Um, oh, my friend Sandy makes this amazing beetroot dish as well. I can't remember what it's called now. Oh, what were they? Okay, it's two sold out, which I just need to move on. Oh yeah, that's there. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Lovely. I had to just put those through too, because they sold out. And Bruce is going, okay, okay. Now Bruce, did you say earlier you were Greek? No, I knew you were, but I thought Bruce was saying, oh yeah, we're all right here, because you've got lots of people who, who know it here. Oh, cat. I thought, I thought he was about to say he was Greek as well. So I thought, no. But you could be. If you looked at you, you could be. Put, get a bit of a suntan going on you, you could be. Uh, which one am I going next? That can only be... Oh, and what's it called? Yep. Here you go. Colour Lab. This one is your reared, sheared and spun in Britain. 100% British wool. Not 6.50. Four ninety nine, four pounds and ninety nine pence. Four left, four left, four left, four left. Yeah, there you go. Stylecraft special. This is special Aaron yarn. This will be a mixture. This one, I'm imagining. Hang on. Oh no, hundred percent premium premium acrylic. One seventy nine, not two pound ten. One pound seventy nine. You always need a bit of black wool, don't you? If you're going to make a pom pom, or going to do a snowman, or do a Father Christmas boots, or do a little trim in the Aaron. Beautiful. It's freezing in here now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, please. Yeah. Keep going through for this. Keep going through. Keep going through. Oh, that made such a difference in the noise as well. Yeah. Oh, my word, yeah. Mind you, it might be the noise in here, not the noise in, in there. Moving on. I did that with my bad arm as well, look. The only one I've thrown with my bad arm and it's gone in the box. Stylecraft. White. Pure white. Goes to 179. 179, it's yarn lane clearance. Now, I've got none of my normal Yarn Lane ladies messaging in. £1.79. Now, do we reckon Waitrose is going to be busy today or not busy? You see, I yes, it was really rampacked yesterday. I'm reckoning today people will have started their Christmas holiday today. No, I only want to go and get my tea. I don't even want to go and buy turkeys or anything. Yes. Oh, do you think so? So will I be better off going to Tesco's at the top of Stratford rather than going through Ulster? What do you think would be best? Oh, I've got to get petrol. Oh, no, I'm going to get my petrol tomorrow. It's Christmas Eve tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, I'll get my petrol tomorrow. Right, moving on. Meadow. This is one I thought was chocolate. What's it earlier? One seventy nine. It's a nice green that one, isn't it? Pea green, I think I'd call that. Or mushy pea, mushy pea green, mushy pea green. 
Beautiful. Do you have mushy peas with your Christmas dinner? Oh, no, you can have, only have mushy peas with chips, can't you? Yep, £1.79. Oh, do I, am I going to bother going to Waitrose? No, I've got things. I've got things on my list. I've got to buy though. Yeah. Well, no, no, because the one the thing is the one in Ulster is the limited car park. You see, so I don't want to get there. Mind you, I go. I don't want to get there and then not be able to park. You know what I mean? There's no way you can go around the corner. It's only that one. Yeah. Pale grey or silver? Silver. Aaron, silver. You know where it's going. There's some beautiful, like, um, mottled ones coming up in it from the Croft range. Got some Rowan ones, the one that Kay Fassett uses. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's famous for. Kay Fassett used to design for Miss Only Knitwear. 179, moving on. Right. Rowan, I've got just two. I've got a dark grey and a softer grey. T U D two eight nine. Now the thing that's lovely about these yarns or these wools is that there's, it's not just a solid colour. That's got lovely, lovely little flecks in it. How much should it be? Okay, that's your price. All you've been crashed. Beautiful. Moving on. Oops, missed one. And then this one here, which is your um, what colour is this one? Granite, this one. Very popular, £5.26. Now, what kind of knitting? Oh, it's Aaron again. Aaron. Lovely. It's lovely. It's got a nice feel to it, that one. Gorgeous. Moving on. Right, I've only got a few more yarns. We're just getting through all the yarns first, then I'll go on to the kits and things. So all the rest ones I've got are called Croft. From Yorkshire Spinners, all Croft. I haven't got black. I've got uh, navy blue, mid grey, pale grey, mustard, and then I've got a blue fleckled and I've got a rust fleckled. Navy, that one ending at 75. 9.95? No. This is Aaron again, look. Isn't that funny? It's a lovely colour. My older brother, when I was little, had a jumper that colour. Six ninety five, six ninety five. That's a good price. So it's Shetland, hundred percent Shetland wool. We're travelling all around the world today, aren't we? Oh yes, I mean, I was going to say it was all in my house, but it's like six ninety five. Gorgeous. Then, mustardy yellow. Doesn't give it a colour. Oh, the Croft. Oh no, it's made the Croft. Heartland. Heartland must be the colour of that one. God, how many people are in today? Oh, it's a hobby maker Christmas dinner, is it today? Sounds like it. Six ninety five. Lovely. We used to have one of those at Rocks and Co. It was lovely. We used to go out for dinner. Uh, next, mid grey. That one, yeah. Uh, ending nine two three. Yeah. Crash in. You must have got more than a pint because Rachel, producer Rachel, got very, very drunk. I'm talking about the Christmas parties now. There's one for Gemporia and one for Craft. And uh, Rachel from Dudley got very, very drunk at her party. Hayley went to both. Yeah. Beautiful. Moving on. Pale grey now, like a silver colour. At nine 
Beautiful. That's a lovely color. That one, lovely soft silver, that one. Next. Now, the next two are mottled. I've got a blue mottled and a rust mottled. I doubt it. This is Ephoth. 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 Six ninety five. It's nice, this one. Look at the colours in there. Speckledy colours. See, you do know things. 100 grams of your yarn. 100% Shetland wool. Keep going through, keep going through. Lots of you in for that one. Yeah, rust, same. Now, is it called rust, though? Let's have a look. Oh, no, because they've all got funny names, haven't they? This one's called Westerwick. I don't know what that was. They must be places, mustn't they? Yeah, yeah, they'll be placed in Shetland, I imagine. Beautiful. I've never been up there. I've never been to the islands. Bruce wants to go. Apparently it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. The people I had, I had dinner with, Claire and Richard at Dulcie's house, they were like, they've got a croft right up, right up, right up in um, Scotland and it sounds idyllic. If you like walking and rain. Oh, never. Mind. Right, that's it for yarn. The wool bucket bag about to sell out goes to ten forty nine. Oh, there's only one left. One left. One left. One left. Bucket bag's got handles. It's nice that one. Ten forty nine. Yep. Right. I've got another bag. Let's do the other yarn bag while I'm here then. So this one's got the hole in the end so you can put you keep your yarn inside and as you're knitting you pull it out it doesn't get dirty. It's got a big zip along the top there. It's got an outside pocket there for your needles and then plenty of room inside there for your um, yarn. 14 Five pounds off. Five pounds off. It's not denim. It's not made of denim. It's just the colour is denim just so you know. John, can you tell me no meters the Shetland Aaron? Oh, hang on. Does it tell you on the packet, Eileen? Just pass me the Shetland Aaron wool back. Will it tell me on the thingy, Eileen? Hang on. So it says, can you tell me how many meters? Oh, yeah. How, not how many meters it knits. How many meters are on there? 225. Are the, are the mottled ones the same, Kat? Can you just check? This one says 225 meters. Yours is only 166 metres on yours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's 166 on that one and uh, 225 on that one. They're both 100 grams, but obviously that's a heavier wool than that one. Yes, okay. yes. Yeah. So all of those ones, the plain ones, were 225 and all the, the two of those were 166. I hope that helps, my love. If you need any more questions, just let me know and I can look at the label. Right, so that's, that's you, that's you, that's you. Right. Oh, we're doing projects next, okay then. So this will be, uh, these are all crochet. Yeah. Let's get the adventures in crafting out. So I've got those three there. That one there. Just the, is that the only cardigan? Yeah, so this is Colour Me Happy Cardigan. Crochet kit in nostalgic. Have we got a picture? Oh, well, I like that colour. Oh, that's nice. Adventure crafting, nostalgic crochet, colour me happy cardigan, 39.99. You do not get the crochet hook, but you do get the lovely brown 
Wendy Supreme Double Knit in there, Mocha. And you do get the, I don't think we're allowed to reduce her, are we? Oh, okay. Mustard. One next clearance, let's do it. Mustard, 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 mustard. 39.99, nope, not today. Five are off for Christmas. And the instructions are in there as well. The only thing you don't get in there is the crochet hook. You're welcome, Eileen, you're welcome. Oh, I'm going to get it the wrong way around. There you go. All arrives like this in your calico bag, and that's what you can make. Beautiful. I love the colours. I like the way that the... Um, come on, Bruce, can you show the picture again for me, please? I love the way that the seam... I don't know if you call them seams on crochet, but the way the, the rows go on that. It's kind of lovely angled, isn't it? Beautiful. It's the only colourway I've got it in, though. I do not have this in another colourway. All the others all sold out. Right, next, moving on. So... Rainbow zigzag what? Rainbow, oh, back, 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 back. Rainbow zigzag back, is that it? Crochet bag in rainbow, yes, lovely. Oh, these are nice, look at the pink in there. Well, it can't be a rainbow, because there's only three colours. Maybe it's the shape of a rainbow, I can't see the design. Oh, look, it's like that, it's like a 1970s halter neck top. Also, what did you get in your bag? Hang on, what's these? Beads? Oh, to make you make a little um, brooch to go on it as well. Nineteen ninety-nine. So you get the mustard, the bright pink, and the king. F no petrol, petrol. Plus your instructions. You'll need a six millimeter crochet hook, and if you're going to line it, you need half a meter of fabric. Lovely colours, aren't they? Uh, I don't have that in any other colourway, just that colourway, just so you know. Oh yeah, Holly the Gonk. Oh sorry, oh sorry, Ken. <laughs> it's nearly. Just, I've just got Holly, I haven't got Henry, just Holly. Isn't that f funny, I would have thought Gonk's, it's got a beard. I know we're gender friendly here, but it's got a beard. Here we go. Where's the go? Oh, look, there it is. Unless it's, I don't know why it's called, why is it called Holly? Not even any green on it, is there? Anyway, so you get the three balls of yarn, the instructions, there's something else in there. The pink for his, I think, that, what's the pink for then? Has he got pink eyes? Oh, rosy cheeks. And he's got plastic eyes. And then the red's for his hat, the white's for his beard, and the, I don't know what colour they call that one there. Uh, caramel. Oh, no, you, that's not caramel. You wouldn't eat that, would you? Anyway. That's your Christmas. That would have to be for next year now, because obviously you're not going to get that in time for Christmas. But you can start, start it now, project now. Have it as, cause how many unfinished projects do we have? Right, next. Mermaid poncho, but I've also got it in arcade, I think that says. Arcade, so mermaid first. So this is a poncho. £35 and 60 pence, that's the price. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, I love that poncho. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's completely different to the picture on the... on the. Oh, no, no, hang on, look, look, look. The, the picture I've got on here is stripes. Oh, hang on, I'm going to do it that way. Look. So let me get the pattern out. Let me see which one it is. It might be the bag that's wrong or the thing it's wrong. Sorry. Which one do you reckon it is? No, you were right. Bruce was right. Look, Bruce, it's that one. It's just been put in the wrong bag, that's all. Anyway, 29 99 that's what you're making there. You're saving 20% already, already on that one. Look, it's got 20% off already, that one. And what, have you reduced it again? 
How much was it then? So £35.60 with your 20% off, but then we've just taken more off. Don't you be blaming Hannah. Has anyone heard from her today? Okay, then the other punch I've got now, do we reckon it's the picture that Bruce has got or do we reckon it's the picture on the thing? This is nice, I like this one. So you've got your pink, your black, turquoise and your yellow in this one. 29.99, so you've got 20% off, but we're going again, look. This one has been 44.50 in the past, and there it is. Are you having another early bird as the app is counting down to one? I don't know what you mean, Margaret. Oh, Margaret, it's because the graphics broke earlier and we had to relaunch it. But I don't know why it would be saying it's a countdown. How long does it say we've got? Yes. We know nothing about a countdown. It says what? 26 minutes or that? Oh, well, I'll be off air by then, so that's fine. Could be interesting to see what it does then. Okay, now what else? I've got, uh, I've got a scarf in green. And do you say a hat? Oh, yeah, hat. There you go. So here's the scarf first. Well, that's a lovely shade of green, that one. Like, I love it, that one. That's your price, 17 59 This feels different, this one. Lazy Day Super Chunky. You're not chunky. Um, just three balls. Doesn't say what colour. Oh, green. Oh, there's the scarf. In the right colour. Beautiful. It's a lovely colour, green, that one. So that's the scarf. Do we reckon the hat's the same green? Yep, tis, tis, tis. You get one ball in the hat. Oh, it's nice. It's like a lacy. It's like a lacy. Um, that's your price, ten pound thirty-nine. Have a look. Oh, sorry. It's like nice. Isn't it? I wonder what kind of stitch that is. Then that looks like a moss stitch to me. I'm sure it isn't though. I'm sure, you don't call it that in the um. Oh, look, it comes in three different sizes. Oh, no. Um, it comes in small, teen, adult. Oh, no, small, which is a teen or a small adult, medium and large. That's it. You've got a what? A bee. It must be that one, because that's the only one because it with bees on it. This is a crochet kit for a bag, not a cushion. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Tapestry cushion, crochet kit, bag, it says. Or is it beef? Does it say beef? It's got another word on it. It says beef, doesn't it, on there? The last beef. word, beef. Invention crafting, bee tapestry. Maybe it's bees. Oh, bees. It's got bees. <laughs> <laughs> a cushion with beef on it, please. So in this one, you get your yarn. It's only fifteen ninety nine. this one. Your yarn, a blue, black, mustard, and there's another one down there. Oh, that's more blue. And the pattern. There you go. Denim, mustard, black and white. Oh, there was another one. There's white in there as well. I can't see the white. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Yes, yeah, there, there, there. That's a pretty one. Nice one for the spring. And if it wasn't for bees, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> Matt, bees not the same. <laughs> right, so I've got a tapestry cushion in two different colours. Okay, I've got Fox and Daisy. Fox first. 
at 13.73. That's your price. That's your, oh, that's cute, isn't it? Tapestry crochet cushion kit, 13.73. Well, I'll tell you what I haven't been doing. I haven't been giving out dates, have we? Never mind. It's all right. This one's on the 20th of April. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what else we've got to do. There's two things I haven't done today. We didn't do the virtual calendar, but I also have to tell you about this web clearance. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do that now. Uh, you go to the, Paul Martin will go mad. He'll go mad at us because he'll be watching. He'll be sitting there for four and a half hours waiting for this stuff for us to say this. Go to the website. Do you know where it is? Top right clearance. Right, look, up to 20% off, off to 50% off. Oh, I can't read it from here. 20, 30 or 40% off. View all. Look at these. They're all the way, only on the web. They're only on the web. So when I finish now, we can go now if you want. But if you... Um, Basically, go and have a look what there is there. Oh, look, Anna Maria Horner. Philip Jacobs, look. Moda. Lewis and Irene. What's that one with stars? Oh, it's people who've left their fifus on that one. Did you say there was Liberty? Oh, yeah, look. No, uh, Liberty. Look at all of these. So make sure you go, make sure you go. I'm going to carry on now with my tapestry cushions, but make sure you go and have a look at that. It's a top right hand tab on the website. I don't know how long it's going to be there. We did get a really long email and I got halfway through and I got bored. <laughs> right, so this one is a crochet kit for Daisy, this one. Ben's great nan was called Daisy. Uh, you've already got 20% off, look. 20% that's gold, you've got 20% off. $15.99. So, so with that, I'm not going to give Bruce's address away. How close are you to me, Bruce? You must be very close. Where's, which is where? If you go from the Ulster, <laughs> Ulster Waitrose... And which, which direction do you go in then? Oh, near that posh house, Bragley Hall. Oh, oh it's nice round there. Isn't there somewhere called Wicks as well round? Is it called Wicks? Oh, okay. Bruce brought down the neighbourhood. No? Right, I've now got daffodil, oh, no, no, oh, punch needle kits I've got now. Punch needle, now somebody asked yesterday, no, no, not that, about this, somebody asked about tatting the other day. We did tatting um, before on your name. Right, so I've got daffodil and tulip. Daffodil first. And daffodils in the shops already. Yeah, people were buying them in the shop. So I won't buy them till after Christmas. Right, now what this is, is... You get the punch tool. Then you get all your yarns. And you get your instructions. But then you get your linen. And you need to tighten that up, obviously, before you start doing it. Right? And you punch it through. In fact, the day we did this, I did one. Because I was on with um, Sam Sabi. Oh. <laughs> I haven't broken it. <laughs> There we go, there you go, and you tighten up there, and you keep it nice and taut. Joy to the world, da 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 da. I'm just as a carol service on the telly tonight. Oh no, it'd be, oh I don't know. Will it be tomorrow? Right, can you only sing carols on Christmas Eve? Right, yo, then I've got tulip. I wonder what the word is that goes with tulip then. Because there was joy with um, daffodils. Oh, tulip doesn't get a word. It, well, you could, but there's not much room for it, Bruce, because it's a different fabric. It's much bigger, that one. Lovely. Have we got a picture of it? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a different, look, that's different. That's a bigger version. It's like a bigger, 
needle punch on it, bigger punch on that one. Gorgeous. What's next? Oh, hang on. I've got books and I've got a lot of Knit Pro stuff. Right, Kate, what do you want to do? What? Oh, here, yeah, 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 chicken slips, here you go. Is it HMZW? Right, so it's knitting needles, but the pattern on the fabric is chicken stitch. Well, it's, yeah, look, filled, hang on, knitting pin roll, filled chicken stitch. Sounds like something you buy in Greg's, wouldn't it? Can I have a filled chicken stitch, please? 1366. So you've got knitting needles, four different sizes. Oh, no, eight, 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 eight. Look, eight, eight, eight. Eight sets of needles. 1366. Did you love it while you're eating it, though? Thirteen ninety nine. Oh, your tummy will have known about it, though. Thirteen. But just, I'll just keep you up to date. Ben's a vegetarian, but somebody fed him beef dripping the other day. He loved it while he was eating it. Then he went, oh, that's beef dripping. And he got really upset by it. And then so did his tummy. Right, moving on. So what's the number again? Oh, hello. I look what do you want? Merry Christmas. Oh, I told you it was noisy out there. It's Ian and Hayley. Go. Oh, and Kerry, and Kerry, yeah. Yeah, but she wasn't making any noise. Right, what, what's the number? Yeah, got it. So this is a hand block printed fabric bag. This is your price. Pretty, isn't it? Little zip on there. Little thing you keep your ruck. Oh, look, crochet hooks in there. Don't fall out because of that. Fold it up, tie it. Nice. I like the printing on it. £9.61. Next one. Are they all needle cases, these? Yeah, they're all different sizes, that's all. This is an interchangeable needle case, whatever that means. This is not, oh no, it's just a smaller version of what we just had, look. Nine pounds and sixpence, that's your price. Beautiful, I love this, I love this here. Hand block, are they hand blocked? I don't think chop, it wouldn't be long enough for chopsticks, that one. So then I've got v, uh, VXZW86. This one you can put your chopsticks in, I think. I'm not going to open this. This is just the same, but bigger, look, longer. Oh, hang on. How much was the last one? This one's bigger. And it's not as much money. Right, hang on. Is, it the, is that the same thing, Kat, that I've got, that you've got there? Oh, no, it's different, 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 different. That's why, look, it's just two sections, this, and Kat's is a three-sectioned one. But longer. Now, would chopsticks fit in there? I don't use chopsticks. Would they, would they be a bit longer than that? Oh, Japanese chopsticks are shorter, apparently. Okay, then I've got, um, for those who love to knit, a single pointed needle case. That's a single point. Sorry about the noise, the... Um, No, it's a pencil case. Well, that'd be nice. It's a pencil case, actually. Nice. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that says. Six thirty-three. Six pounds thirty-three. That's your price. That's your price. That's your price. Three left. That's it. Right now, I've got to reach all the way across here to get the next things. Oh, now I've got fifteen minutes left. I'll just talk about these books slowly then. Yeah, I'm still talking about these slowly. <laughs> right, where are we going first? Oh, look, there's Exquisite from the wall earlier. 
Oh, hang on, there's plenty in here. Oh, it's more than I thought. Here you go. Right, where are we going first? Exquisite. She's sitting on a stool. Right, here we go. Collection of hand-knit designs by Chloe Elizabeth Birch for West Yorkshire Spinners. There you go. So, Cardi, short Cardi, Cardi, short Cardi. There, she's smiling there. Oh, it's not the same person. Beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no, look there. Oh, look there. The wool. Oh, we had the Knightsbridge earlier, didn't we? Except our Knightsbridge was a blue. Wasn't it? Anyway. How much is it? £12.95. Stop coughing, Bruce. No, I'm worried about you. Not, I don't care. I'm in here. 10.36. Snood. Julia Top. Oh, that's nice. You're worried about what, Bruce? Yeah. Just be me and Kat on our own, wouldn't it, this rate on Christmas Day? We'll cope. So that's that one. Next book. Baby or Child. Oh, Baby Knits. And that's not funny, you see. I'd have called that one a baby. Not that one, but there you go. Baby knit. Oh, Susie Johns. Susie Johns used to come on with her own quarter. 18 knit projects for your beloved ones. Or the children. There's Susie Johns with the pink purple hair. Remember, she wore like a um, net dress, a purple net dress and a denim jacket. Waistcoat, no, it was, it was sewing quarter. Pinafore dress, vest, fair isle. Did you come to sewing quarter? Oh, okay. Beret. Teddy bear. Teddy's clothes. Soft shoes. Bloomers with tie. Bloomers with elastic waistband. I would, I'm not sure if I'd put child in knitted bloomers. I suppose the nappy be underneath, wouldn't it? Jumper. Little hat. There's a lot in here. Jacket with hood. Cardigan with collar. I still put that. £7.54. Supposed to be £12.99. Excuse me. £12.99 that sells for. Moving on. So the other child one then. Mimi Rose's World. From Anchor. Oh look. The colour of emotions. Are they supposed to be emotions? Luma, Rose, Hoppy, Milo... Lola, Lilo, and Sunny. I think if I've been given... Oh, look, they're all... Hang on there, let's have a look. Pound off. So it's cardigans. Oh, that's cute. A bit like a Chanel jacket for a child, isn't that one? But then look. Oh, oh I like that cushion. Sweet dreams. I wouldn't put them on a lamp. Made of this. Who am I to disagree? Anyway, beautiful. Uh, so how much is it? Two ninety nine. That's a lot of pattern in there for two ninety nine. Then I've got crochet toys. This is your Emma Osmond crochet toys, quick and easy to make. Twenty five of them. Eight pound sixty nine. That's your price. Now is that a toy? Or is that a stool? That's a finger puppet, obviously that's Skittles and a teddy bear, but look. Does it stand up like that? Emma Osmond. Oh quoits. So what would we what would we call this? Jellyfish. Oh octopus <laughs> even. Hang on. Octopus page forty eight. There we go. Oh, she must put something in the legs, mustn't she, to make them... St oh, toy stuffing. Is 
It's like a teddy bear shoved his head through the railings. Isn't it a comfort blanket? Don't think so. Bunny rabbit, octopus. Oh, look, giraffe's gorgeous. Elephant, unicorn. That's very, uh, very um, LBGTQPSRW. Octopus unicorn, isn't it? Sensory toy. Oh. Bean bags. They, oh, they call them stacking rings, not quoits. Colour game. Oh, that's nice. So you throw the, the right coloured balls into the basket. They look just look nice full stop in a house, wouldn't they? With crystals in or something like that. Or a plant. Anyway, £8.69, that book. That's good value for money. Then I've got the Winnick Mum sock book. I've got super socks, first of all. And then I've got more super socks. There's your price. £16.25. Okay, very quickly. Beautiful. She's been on. She's lovely, the Winnick Mum. Then we've got more super socks. Oh, sorry. My bad. More super socks. Brilliant. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, very quickly before we go, I just want to remind you about the calendar. Should have been twelve ninety nine, but Hayley took it to six ninety nine. Uh, make sure you check out on that. Oh, what are you eating? Twirl. Oh, no, no. It make me cough. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Exclusive to Sang Street, six ninety nine. Da 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 Loads. Hundreds of those are sold today. Right, let's do tomorrow's menu. It's me tomorrow. With, I'm not sure who's producing me tomorrow. Christmas Eve treats at eight o'clock. Jason Yenta Botanical Quilt with Catherine Wright at nine o'clock. More Jason Yenta at ten o'clock. Orchid Midi Dress by Chalk and Notch Patterns with Catherine. I don't know, Chalk and Notch. Okay. And then I've got clearance at 12 o'clock. Uh, this afternoon, a hobby maker. Oh, they've only got three hours. Cricket, Joy Machine with Julie. Andy's After Party Show with more deals too. And P Paper Dynamics Takeover December Sale Show at three. And four and five. Is that it? And four and five. Where's four and five? Oh, how boring. Oh, no, everything's half Oh, everything's half price. Everything's half price, three till five. You must join Cat at three till five. I was only joking, it's not boring. I just, I'm just not into cardboard. Uh, anyway, I've got to go, I've got to go. Thanks for your company today. Make sure you tell your friends about the calendar. I will be selling it again tomorrow. And I will see you in the morning at eight o'clock. I don't know who I'm going to be with. Bye. Hello everyone, Starfine Brooks here. I just wanted to come in here and say Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a fantastic day and a happy and healthy new year. It's been a great year spending time with you and being able to sew with you as well and create loads of new projects. Uh, bring on 2023, where we'll hopefully have lots of new projects for you and get to meet some more of you as well. Anyway, take care, stay safe and Merry Christmas. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. It happens at Christmas all over. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating with the people that you love. And I'll see you in the new year. Bye. Feel these vibes. So, what are you doing on Christmas Day? Come and join me and Alison, Mary and Mary and Alison from 8 till 12 on Sewing Street. I know, we've got William Morris fabrics, we've got a William Morris quilt, and we're going to be reading out your Christmas messages. So you need to get them in now, right? And you need to send them to studio at sewingstreet.com. That's studio at sewingstreet.com. Come and join us. We have such a lovely time. Remember, though, it's only 8 till 12 on Christmas Day.
Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We're just telling Bruce his microphone's not on. None of us can hear Bruce. And there he is, there he is, there he is. Right, good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, before I start everything, you see this bundle I've got here? This bundle on the table here. I think we've got, I've got oh wow, now it's gone really, really loud. Uh, now, anybody who buys anything today, your name will go into the virtual hat and at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, I will be announcing who has won all of this. You don't have to add a code, you don't have to do anything, all you need to do is buy something and then the name will be pulled out of the hat uh, tomorrow morning and then at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning I'll announce who's won, right? Even if you came in and bought some pins, if you came in and bought a quick unpick, it doesn't matter. Oh, there we go, got it all on a picture now. So we've got a Janome ruler, we've got a Janome cutting mat, we have got necessities from Orophil, we have got an iron from uh, Quilted Bear, but look at this quilt. Look at this quilt here. Beautiful mode of quilt. I've just opened it, right? I, I just, I, I'm not going to rip the bag open because obviously this is the one you're going to win. But look, you get all this beautiful mode of fabric in here. Oh no, I've not, and I've not even seen this one. I, I, it was, must be a new one, must it? Anyway, all you have to do is buy something and your name will go into the virtual hat and one of you will win all of that. It's not like five different prizes. One of you will win the whole, Kat's just turned the whole camera all the way around. One of you will win that. One of you, uh, anything you buy today, up until one minute to midnight tonight and your name will go in the hat. Right, now, we've been waiting for this calendar for ages. There have been all sorts of upsets and everything like that. And anyway, it's arrived. It's arrived late yesterday afternoon. The call centre, not the call centre, the warehouse, what's it called when they book it in, book it in really quickly, sent me a sample up here. Now, it's meant to be 12 99 that's what it was decided in the meetings. This calendar was going to be twelve ninety nine. However, well, I'll bring the graphics in for you. I'll bring the graphics in for you. Here you go. Twelve. It's ex of course it's exclusive to Stone Street. Limited, limited, limited. The official John Scott A4 wall calendar twenty twenty three. Right. There's already loads in baskets, and we've only literally just opened it now. Right. At fifteen seconds, and over fifty went into baskets. You see. Right now. 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 Nobody left us an early bird last night. Haley didn't leave us an early bird last night. So Ben and I have made the decision that this is our early bird, which means we're not going to leave it at 12 99 Now remember, if you buy this, if you buy this, your name will automatically go into the hat to win the £200 worth of goodies, right? I'm not going to say, I can't tell you that you're going to win, but you, one of you will win it. One person who buys today will win this, right? Okay, now it's 12 99 What we take it to? 11 99 10 99 we're being so naughty. Oh no, 12.49 would be good, wouldn't it? 9.99, it's a, it's a tenner. It's a tenner for a little calendar to go on your sewing room wall. I know, nine pounds and 99 pence. Now obviously it's not gonna arrive until the new year. Would, oh, well actually, I don't know what days the warehouse is closed. I think they're just closed for the Christmas. They're open again after Christmas. So they'll start packing it on the 28th, 29th, won't they? Nine pounds, 99 pence for this the calendar. Now I'm not gonna show you all the pictures because that'll spoil the treat for you, wouldn't it? But that's the front cover, that's my dining room at home. Right, now let's just open a few of these then. So then there's th this one here. So that's me reading my book with my big throne on my big throne chair. And then what we got here, then we got me on the sofa with Norman the cat, not a real cat, obviously. Uh, hang on, let me see. I've got to see what comes next because I don't know the order. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to show you that one. Show you. I'll show you this one, Mike and Julie. So this is my sister-in-law, Julie, here. And that was me at that charity uh, thing we did for Maggie's charity. And then this is me, me and my older brother at a party, at the Debbie Ratnike's party in the summer. Um, what else have I got in here? I don't want to show you all the pictures. I don't want to spoil it. But I do want to just want to show you... Actually, I'm going to show you my lovely postman. This is Nick, my postman, this one. He's so chuffed that he's going to be on a calendar. So that's my front door with him arriving with all my parcels. They're my uh, bead bags that arrived that day. So £9.99, you need to check out though. You need to check out £9.99 for the John Scott 2023 calendar and your entry into tomorrow's draw. Message, here we go. Morning, John, got mine. Merry Christmas to your love, Princess. Thank you, Princess. What's it? Make sure you check out though, make sure you check out, make sure you check out. I want them all to go. I need them all to go if you don't mind. 
nine pounds and 99 pence. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Right, I'm going to keep uh, plugging this all day long, right, for you, but, because not everyone will be up yet, but, uh, oh, got my calendar, can go along with my Fox Wire Terrier one, a Wire Fox Terrier one. Laurie says, morning, John and team, your shirt is so colourful, love it, have a great day, thanks to all at Sane Street for a great show and keeping everyone company. Uh, Laurie, have you bought your calendar? Get your calendar, Laurie. Uh, who's this one? Julie Vaughan. Morning again, John. Paula says, morning, John. Calendar bought. Love Paula in deep car. I try to tell your friends. Or multi-buy. Multi-buy, multi-buy, multi-buy. Who's this one from? Got mine, John. Merry Christmas. Love Barbara in Greater London. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. I, I'm so glad it's arrived on time. Hayley was like, oh, we'll do it on Christmas Day if it doesn't arrive. And it was like, oh, need it before then. Anyway, we'll know for next year, won't we? Nine, he says as though we're all going to be here next year. Nine ninety nine. Here we go. Woohoo, got mine. Uh, who's that from? Louise in Leicester. Liz with the Zeds. Morning, John. Just ordered mine. It will hang next to my John clock. Oh, thank you, Liz. Margaret, what a marvellous way to start the day. Early bird, John Scott calendar. Had to get a few, says Margaret in West Yorkshire. Thank you, Margaret. Well, it's only 9 99 isn't it? I know. You only pay one PP for the whole day, remember? So it doesn't matter what you buy, how many times you buy or anything. Reva, watch live, not working properly on the website. Refresh, refresh your browser, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's working. It is working. If this one's working, then yours should be working. Keep going through, keep going through. Who is? Oh, what? Thanks, John. Got mine. It's coming to Australia, says April. Oh, April. Thank you so much. Will it be out of sync? What do you mean? Well, no, no, it, it, they're only, it's like, what, they're 15 hours ahead, so it's nine o'clock tomorrow. No, nine, no, it's uh, nine o'clock tonight there. It's nine o'clock tonight there. Is it? Oh, yeah, work wherever it is. Of course it will. It's just the days aren't different. Anyway, 9.99. Keep going through. Lots of you there. Lots of you there. We should have warned the call centre. What did you say, Ben? Oh, my word. Look, we've only been on it for like six minutes. And hundreds have gone already. Hundreds have gone already at nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Tell your friends, buy a few. Should be twelve ninety-nine. Remember, me and Ben decided to take it to nine ninety-nine. Julie Vaughan got hers. Susie, absolutely love your shirt, gorgeous. Susie, have you bought your calendar? Oh, what's that? Who's that? Wow. Who was it from? Oh. Oh, there he is. But Paul, have you bought your calendar? Not yet. He's going upstairs to buy it now. He's going upstairs to buy it now. Oh. Uh, keep going through, keep going through, keep going through at 9.99. Oh, now, now, do you know what? There's so many messages people say they've got them. You know, if you leave a message on that one there, Ben can only get 10 on his screen, then it falls off the bottom of the screen. So he says, thank you very much, Deep, but there's no way you can just keep up with them all at the moment. He's thinking today's busy. Wait, wait till Christmas morning. Oh, now it looks like Ben might be doing Christmas morning now. Yeah, 9.99. Keep going through, keep going through. I've got lots to do, so I need to move on. I need to move on. Sue says, morning, John, got mine. Merry Christmas. Susie says, oh, I've done Susie. Right, okay. I'll put that up there. There you go. Right, now, uh, menu. Here's today's menu. Uh, so I've got Fabulous Fabric straight away. Then at nine o'clock, we've got the Amber Makes Gingham Tote Bag with Emily Roberts. That's this. Now, the one she's made is in the black and the monochrome, but she's making one in denim. And when we launched it, the denim one was hugely, hugely popular. Then at 10 o'clock, we go to overlockers and dressmaking fabrics. Uh, and we've got, oh, we've got the Juki iron, that lovely big Juki iron. Uh, so don't miss out on that. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got the Ma dress. There you go. Uh, it's from that gorgeous book, the Jarlotta Darlotta book. It's fantastic. Um, and then uh, that's with Emily. And then 12 o'clock, we've got Yarn Lane Clearance. Yarn Lane Clearance at 12 o'clock. No guests, just me with a clearance. That all looks a bit scrunched up on the desk, that, doesn't it? Uh, not on the desk, on the, on the screen there. So there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. And that's studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. You can get in touch on Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting out. Uh, 
June says, got my calendar. Laurie says, I got two cake freeze. I think she means I've got two calendars, one for me and one for a friend. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, you can also get in touch with us via the website. You go to www.sayingstreet.com. You go to the front page, uh, click on watch the show live, and then there I am. And then the white box on the right-hand side is where you can write a message there. And they're the ones that come on the bottom later. Now, if you scroll down the page, there's the early bird. That'll be up there all day long. Remember, it should be 12.99. Uh, then there will be two columns in a minute. There will be the column of things we've played. And on the right-hand side, we'll be coming up on today's show. And we've got bundles of fab fabulous fabrics galore going on here. Uh, the artist one, which I'm doing first, is already flying out. $17.99. For, that's good for two metres of fabric. It's beautiful as well. Uh, so then we'll whiz through those quickly. So there's all your now, they are your prices. It's not a clearance. They are your prices. They are your prices, right? So that's that first hour. Then we move on to the tote bag. The tote bag, you buy the pattern on. Oh, now those two x ray backings are brand new. Look, brand new x ray backing. Then we've got the tote bag in the three different colorways. Beautiful. There's the denim one. There's the tools and everything. Then we move on to, this is the sewing machine and the, now I've got a deal on the overlocker, on the air, uh, the air threader overlocker, I've got a deal. Now, I, I'm not sure, I, I need to just check with Ben about that iron, I forgot to ask him in prep. I know we will be doing it, but another one. Yeah, yeah, there'll be more money coming off that, more money coming off that one. There's the overlocker, now that's got a special deal. Now, does it say where the deal is? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, keep going, we'll keep going. Don't buy the overlocker on its own because we have got a deal with the overlocker as well. Here's all the dressmaking fabrics. There's the, buy that one. If you're gonna buy the air threader, make sure you buy that one with the deal. Don't just buy the one on its own, right? And then there's the book. There's the Jalotta Dandotta book. And beautiful fabrics. Did you do that picture, Bruce? <laughs> Bruce is saying what a beautiful picture it was. Uh, so that's, uh, that's Emily making the dress there at uh, 11 o'clock. Oh, two print pattern papers there, which we'll need for that hour. You will need your pattern paper for that hour. Uh, then we move on to Yarn Lane. Yarn Lane clear it. So the prices you see there are not the prices you will pay. Beautiful. So that's today's, that's the day. That's the day. Uh, right, look at this bundle of fabric. Look at this gorgeous bundle of fabric. I love it, love it, love it. Hang on, let me get it in the right place. There you go. Oh, hang on, it's on the move. 17.99 i love these artist collection two meters so obviously you all know this one the water lilies beautiful oh actually it's wide as well it's wider fabric that oh that's lovely isn't it so you get half a meter of the water lilies i think this one's called the kiss isn't it from Klimt. this one doesn't say on the thingy what they are but anyway i'm not sure what these two are oh one of these must be Klimt. oh is that flower garden not the kiss Oh, okay. Right, and then I've got that one there, the Monet. And then what's this one here then? That's Van Gogh, that one. Ooh. How do you know that, Bruce? Oh, he's cultured. 17 pounds and 19 pence. You've got half a metre of each one. How lovely are these? Imagine the gorgeous cushions you can make out of these. Margaret says, uh, morning, John and T. Oh, something wrong with Facebook can't see you only see the comments well um julie julie you need to refresh because i'm watching facebook now and it's working for me here so just refresh your box uh, oh hang on i've oh yes i've got messages um margaret says gray and miserable here uh, but your calendar's brightening up the day oh that's nice isn't it right look so there you go half a meter half a meter half a meter half a meter right 14 of these bundles left that's it Limited, limited, limited. Keep going through. That's why I just said cushions would be lovely, wouldn't they, to that? Half a metre of each, and it's extra wide as well. Love it. $17.99. Beautiful. Maybe there is an issue with Facebook, because there's much, many fewer people watching than are normally watching at this time of day. So maybe there is some issue with it. We'll have a look into it. We'll look into it. Oh, yes. 
at 17.99. It's definitely working because I've got it on my machine and I'm only logged in as a viewer. I'm not logged in as, a, as a, somebody who works here. Do you know what I mean? Oh, right. There are 10 of these bundles left, but 15 in baskets. So check out if you want it. Check out, check out, check out if you want it. Very popular. I'm not surprised. It's beautiful. I wonder if Kate, the collector, got that because that's the kind of thing she'd like. Beautiful. Right, where am I going next then? Okay then. I've got the Dan Morris wine bottles, this one. So it's the same print, but on different coloured backgrounds. You've got your woody background, your mossy background, and your red wine background. Oh no, Lorraine's Facebook's working. Oh, and Margaret's Facebook is now working. So you just need to duly redo it, re go out and come back in, and you'll be fine. I oh, know, technology, where would we be without it? Can't live with it, can't live without it. Dan Morris, a little wine. Bottles fabric, eighteen pounds and ninety nine pence. No, it won't. Jill says, "Morning, John, in bed with hobby." Oh, just as well you said that. And the dogs this morning. Have you bought your calendar? Have you bought your calendar, Jill? Leslie says Facebook is definitely working. Leslie, have you bought your calendar? Oh, so Julie Vaughan's bought the calendar and she's bought the bundle of fabric. She's only eight twenty. Well, that's going to be a good start to the day, isn't it? 80, what, Julie Vaughan, what will you make out of them? The fabrics. 18.99. Beautiful, that was the bottles. I've also got the barrels. The barrels here, you've got, oh no, they've got different things written on them. They're not beer barrels, they're wine, but oh, they're, it's where they, um, it's not called Festa, what's it called? <laughs> when you make wine, what's it called when it's in the barrel and it's getting ready to be put into the bottles? Ferment, is it? Is that the right word? I don't know either. Uh, wine fabric will make uh, wine bottle carriers. Thank you. Yeah, the other Jan, that was Lorraine. Uh, the other Jan says, morning, John, everyone. My Facebook is fine. Just ordered my calendar. Well done. Uh, oh, Jan Hill's up. Blimey, 20 past eight on Christmas week and Jan Hill's up. She'll send a message to me again. I've been up for ages, actually. 1199 Oh, Julie doesn't know what she's making out of it. She just loved them. I love them as well. Just what? Sorry. There's only two of the artist bundle left. Two of the artist bundle left. That's it now. 11.99. Oh, let's see. It's the early bird. It's right at the top. Go underneath where we work. It's there. It's there. Right. But it's just if you're on the website, it's just the first thing on there, isn't it? Right. Because it's the early bird. We did. It's the early bird. We took money off. We shouldn't have done, but we took money off. Yes. Blue and yellow, this one. Uh, Dan Morris, Valencia Blue, this one's called. I wonder why it's called Valencia. Did you make that name up? What's it? Have I got the right one? Okay. Valencia, even the, the humming, not hummingbirds, what are those? Dragonflies. I have, a, I have a trouble with remembering that word, don't I? Leslie says, thank you. Uh, Andy Lynn says, morning, John. Cuddle up on the sofa, having a couple whilst watching. Oh, cuddled up, are you, Andy and Lynn? Andy and Lynn, have you bought the calendar? You need one each. You need one each. At, at 22.99. Sharon, oh, she's bought her calendar. Well done, Sharon. 22 pounds and 99 pence. You could buy them as New Year's gifts, couldn't you? Oh, Jan Hill, here you go. Morning, gorgeous. Great shirt. Facebook fine here. You kept that calendar secret well. You woke me up at eight, but I've only just sat up. Uh, Jan, have you ordered your calendar, though? It was a, we did it as an early bird, because there was no early bird. So there was no management here. We did it as the early bird. Anyway, 22 night time for this bundle. Message. Good morning, John. Have bought the calendar to brighten up my kitchen from Tony in Wiltshire. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Tony. Be gorgeous in your kitchen. Lovely, that one's going over there. Now we've got the purple one. That's this one here. Only nine of this bundle available. Now why just put back black with that one, Ben? Twenty-two ninety-nine. 
can only watch for a short time. I've got a wedding to go to today, Sir Sharon. Oh, they'll regret getting married. That oh, imagine. Because that, that means people will only buy them a Christmas present or, or an anniversary present. They won't get both, will they? Um, when, you, when did you get married, Bruce? Yeah. No, no, in time of year. Oh, October. That. Yeah. Well, it obviously wasn't, was it? 22.99. Oh, Jan, Jan. 22.99. Oh, I've got some brand new extra wide fabric show. These aren't bundles, but these are brand new extra wide fabrics. Right, so this is my favorite. We've got, Ben and I both got a favorite. This is my favorite one. Very busy, splashy, gorgeousy. Look at this. Remember, it's 108 inches wide, this. I know, look at my shirt. That'd be a nightmare waiting to happen, wouldn't it? So what's it called? Henry Glass Colour Splash. Look at it. 108 inches wide, 12.99 half a metre. Beautiful dab. Only got 15 metres this for some reason. wonder why that is. I've not seen it before. Is it new? I'll, eat, I'll lay it flat for you. It's brand new. It's brand new. You see, no. Well, that's weird anyway. 12.99. Hi, John, can we have a look at the calendar? Oh, honestly, Leslie, I've already spent time doing the calendar. Here it is. Oh, hang on, I'll do it in a minute. When I've taken the graphics for this out, I'll show you. So this is 12 99 half metre. Remember you... Oh, there's more in baskets than I've got available. More in baskets than I've got available. Here's the calendar, Leslie. It should be 12 99 But we did it as an early bird, so it's 9 99 It's A4. It's got a hole in it, so you can hang it up, look. I'm not going to show you all of it because that'll spoil it then. You won't know what's in the calendar, will you? Oh, there you can see that one because that's the front cover, that one. So it's my book. This is my dining room. It's my sewing machine. That's my flag for the Ukraine. 9 99 that calendar. £9.99. It should be £12.99. Well done. Loads of you got that. Loads of you got that. Make sure you check out on it though. Right, the other extra wide backing is this one. This is Ben's favourite. And it's like a black swirl, this one. Look at that. Now, can you see the swirl on your telly? 12 99 This is just colour swirls in black. I wonder what colour they... Are. They must have done it in other colours, mustn't they? Uh, now, can you, if I hold it up, is that better? Can you see that better? Can, can you see the swirls on it? 12 99 half a metre. Oh, well done, Leslie's got her calendar. It's beautiful. See, on my bottom telly here, on my um, little monitor, it looks amazing on my little monitor. But on my big monitor, it just looks like black fabric. Oh, have we got a picture of it? Does the picture on the web show the swirl? Oh, it shows it better. Show, can you see that? Can you see the swirl on there? It's lovely, isn't it? 12.99, half a metre, 108 inches wide. My auntie and uncle got married on Boxing Day. It would have been in the late 1940s, early 1950s. Well, my mum and dad got married in 1952. Not on Boxing Day, August the 6th they got married. Yeah, I know. 12.99. In fact, we're going to talk about weddings later because Emily, since I've seen her last time, has got engaged, hasn't she? And the wedding's all planned and everything. I know. Next. Liberté. Uh, I've got this one here. Which one do you want to do? I've got two Liberties, haven't I? Oh, hang on. I've, I've, oh, uh, I've got the jewel. Is this the jewel one with... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four and a half meters. Yep. Liberté. 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 Now there's only six this bundle left. We had a uh, we had a liberty. Was, now is this from your yesterday launch? Because it was flower show yesterday, wasn't it? 
Okay, this is last one. So what they do, what Liberties do, is they take a different fabrics, because obviously that there is from the, um, that one's the, the Carnaby Street one. They've got all different, that's the Cosmos one there. They take all different uh, ranges and recolour them each year. Oh, I'll just take my cuff out, because that looks like an extra fabric. 6741. So now, what am I getting there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Have I got money off on that one? What's nine into 6741? Oh, the black one showed nicely on the telly, by the way. Yes, we can see the swirls, says Julie. 749 and a half metre. £7.49 and a half metre. And how much is it by the half metre? 749. Sixty-seven forty-one. Beautiful, lovely colours, aren't they? Stunning. Remember, everyone who buys something today, your name goes into a hat and you could win. Bruce, have you got the slide there? One of you will win this tomorrow at 10 o'clock. One of you will win this just by buying something today. It's not all in proportion, that, because obviously the quilt's bigger than the ruler. Oh, no. Are you allowed to do that? Okay, take some money off. 64.99. It's Christmas after all, he says. The other Jan just heard from my daughter say she's tested positive for COVID. Oh, no. Almost a year to the day since she last had it. Jan, she wasn't coming for Christmas, was she? Jan? Jan? Was she coming for Christmas? Oh, there's a lot of it about at the moment. Be careful. Why there's nothing you do about it because you don't know who's got it. You don't know who's got it, do you? She could have it. I could have it. We could, couldn't we? We just don't know. I know um, Hannah's mum's got it. I oh, know. 64.99. Remember, because we crashed it, that's only staying at 64.99 till midnight tonight. If you buy this, your name will go in the virtual hat for the prize for tomorrow. Leave that one with you. The other Liberty Bundles, huge. Just hit past cat that one. Right, look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, now, I was going to say, I've got some of these fabrics, but there's others I haven't got. That's weird, isn't it? Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I love that one. That's loads, isn't it? Look. There you go. This one is called Home Curiosity in Brights. 15 fabrics, seven and a half metres, 112.35 or two split pays of 56.70. That's your price, that's your price, that's your price. Gemma says, morning John, how are you feeling now? I'm all right, thanks Gemma, but I've been back a few days now. In fact, I came back on air the day it happened. Have you bought your calendar yet, Gemma? Have you bought your calendar? 112.35. Sorry, that again? Hundreds of the calendar have gone already. What was that look for, Ken? Oh, you're very loud. You're always loud. We're used to you now. Oh, no. Jan's daughter was coming for Christmas. Only back from New York on Wednesday. Well, Jan, if she will go gallivant into my favourite place in the whole wide world. My spiritual home, Manhattan. Oh, I love it. In fact, I'm going I'm, I'm to make... I'm going to go there next year. I've decided already. Yeah, I must. Life is for living. I, I haven't been there for ages. Let me think. The last time I was there, oh, I now this is going to, uh, was when I was at this morning and New Look flew me there for a fashion show, but paid for me to stay for a whole week. Paid for the hotel, paid for everything. It was fantastic. It was lovely. 112.35. Well, I used to live there. I lived there in 1988, 89, you see, and I just loved it. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Modar. Hang on a second, let me just pass that one. To, ow, ow, sorry, cat, that was a bit heavy. That one here, there's that one called Springtime or something. Yeah, Spring. Oh dear, Bruce, don't you be coughing now. Right, look at this. It's got chickens. This goes to an incredible price, this one. I don't know. Should be 89 88 
Six meets of fabric. You can. It's Christmas. Oh. Morning, John. Daughter Jen arriving home this evening. I'm a very happy Christmas bunny, says Judith. Jan, the other Jan, says my granddaughter's birthday today, so that's another year. We'll have to drop the presents off at the doorway. Oh, no. 49. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I did not. I did not say that price. Did I say that price? I did never said that price. So it was 89 how much? It was 89 pounds something, right? 89.88 and he's dropped it to 49.99. It's all Moda. It's six meters of fabric. There's 12 different fabrics there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 12 different fabrics there. Yeah, you should have checked it. Right, move on, move on, move on, because it shouldn't be that low. You will get into Well, no, Hayley's not interested. Okay, it's Christmas. Right, yo, next. We get better slow down. Oh, no, I've got loads, got loads, got loads. Which one's that one? Blue. Is it this one? Oh, no, not that one, not that one. Yeah, got it. So, we've got a blue gingham, a rust stripe, a blue and... Mm, don't know what colour to call that one in there. Then we've got these lovely big wide striped ones. Eight, half metre of each, already cut at £37.45. Two and a half metres, you get five fabrics for £37.45. Oh, going down, taking... I said at the beginning of this hour that they're all these prices were your prices, but Ben's got other ideas. Beautiful. Oh, Rebecca Harrison's watching. Morning, Re Rebecca Harrison. You bought your calendar yet? Beautiful, 34.99. Uh, John, at approximately two, hang on, at approximately two pounds a home COVID test, great stocking filler. Oh no, Karen, can't wait for my calendar to arrive. Oh, they'll go in the post right after Christmas. Oh dear, is that how much they are? Oh dear, it's sad, isn't it? People are getting into Christmas. Mind you, they did say on the news when I drove in this morning, if you've got the sniffles or you've got a cough or you've got a bit of a cold, just stay at home, don't go out. Um, because hospital admissions for COVID and this new flu are at an all-time high again. I know. My Becky has COVID for the first time. Alison Marion, she's not at your house, is she? Because you're supposed to be coming in here on Christmas Day. Don't you be seeing your Becky Mutton. Oh, no, she lives miles away, doesn't she? she doesn't she live in Cornwall or somewhere like that? I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I've got a feeling she lives in Cornwall, though. Is that this one that I just tried to get out? Yeah. I need to have a slurp of my drink. Oh, this one's got six fabrics in this one. You look at this while I take a slurp of my drink. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah, six, that's right. Are you already getting half a metre for free? Oh, do you get half me to freeze? That's your price. Bernie says, morning all. I spent some money this morning. All paid. But website is saying pending and make a payment. Right, Bernie. Bernie, ring the call centre straight away. It's completely for free. They just stopped there. Oh, look, there's Ray. Roy. Ray. Roy. I can't remember. He's Brian. Anyway, um, let me take, have a look at the fabric. I need to have a slurp of this. What, what? Oh, my ginger water's boiling hot today. Tastes a bit funny, actually. Um, there's only how many left? Five left, five left. Oh, no, she's in Cornwall. She's in Cornwall. Yeah, Bernie, ring the call centre and they'll sort it out for you. £37.45. pence. Moda Belle Isle. I, we, isn't that funny? We used to live at RAF... Um, where were we? We used to live at 132 Belle Isle. We were 67 to start with in the far corner and we moved to the officers' quarters at the front. It was an RAF camp. 132 Bellal. 
I mentioned that one happy late day. I managed to get your calendar. Something nice to come to see come through the letterbox instead of bills. Oh, Karen. Yeah, but Karen, you've had good news. You've had good news, so you can't moan. You can't moan. Sandra says, morning, John. Been laid low with a cold, staying indoors. Sandra in Glasgow. Sandra, order your calendar. Uh, Elaine had a cold and sniffles coming for five weeks now. Not COVID. There's just so many. Well, I know. It's, been, it's like um, uh, um, JJ, the director at Pavers, was full of cold, right? And his girlfriend got as well, but neither of them. They had a really bad cold, but neither of them had COVID. Oh, I just, it's just horrible, isn't it? P.S. If I have COVID, oh, P.S. I have COVID again too. Self, do you have to self-isolate? I don't know the rules anymore. Yeah, I have, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, I would do if I had it, yeah. I have COVID again. Shall I take for five days? Oh, you poor thing. Where have you been, Bernie, to get it? The thing is, you don't know. You could just be in the queue in Sainsbury's, couldn't you? And you can get it. Do you know what I mean? Other supermarkets are available. I'm not blaming Sainsbury's. We haven't got a Sainsbury's in, in Stratford, so it can't be Sainsbury's. We got, there was a, used to be a little one on the, um, on the bit where you come up by boots along there. Is it not there? Oh. It might still be there, but it was only a little... It was only, no, 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 it's not there. 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 You used to what? We don't condone that cult of attitude. Which one? Rhubarb and strawberry. Oh, hang on, two and a half. There's only, f that's not it then. There's only four in that one. Must be this one. Here you go. Yeah, it is. Hang on, I'll pick, yeah, so it's this one. Yeah, yeah, it's this one. So this one here is that Moda Sunday Stroll. Catherine Wright. Uh, morning, John. Having a lie-in for once. See you tomorrow. Catherine, you bought your calendar. She'll be on tomorrow. Catherine Wright, be on tomorrow. Hey. £37.45. pences. Modar. So you get your red gingham and your grey gingham. You get your strawberries. You get your uh, lattice work with flowers and you get your pinstripe. Your city pinstripe. Well done, well done. Then I've got another Moda bundle. Two metres, this one. I tried to get this one before. Strawberries, Andrew Bow. It's really weird because the last one had strawberries on it, didn't it? And this one's called strawberries. There's no strawberries on it. Very confusing. No, you haven't missed it. There's still some left, Catherine. There's still some left. So we did it as the early bird. We took money off. We shouldn't have done, but we took money off. I defo caught mine from a work colleague. Oh, no. No. 29.96. Beautiful. Love that green in there. It's lovely and fresh, isn't it? You need to get one of those things you put in the mic. Ben's got dry eyes, he's saying. What you need to do is get one of those things you put in the microwave, like an iPad with things in it, like, and just put them. That's brilliant for dry eyes. Well, it's because you're in that dirty old room with all the dust and the computers and Bruce. <laughs> yeah, Bruce is a clean boy, but he's in there. There you go. Yeah, it's his middle name, isn't it? Yeah, now let's have a look at the graphics of this one because we were a bit confused by this one in prep. I think it's meant to say goosey goose, is it? I don't know, juicy juice. Goosey. Oh, no, it's not even juicy, is it? Because it's the wrong way around for juicy. Gaiusy gaius, sky gazing collection. Let me look at the, let me look at the selfish, see what it says. Hundred years created by Gucci Goose. And there's a picture of a man with a beard and glasses on. It's Bruce, look. Look, why is Bruce on this selvage look? Look. Oh, he's gone a bit out of focus now. There he is. Well, it's not Kat. It's definitely not me. It's definitely not Ben. It only leaves you. Brucey Bruce, maybe it's meant to say. I've never heard of this, but it's lovely. Don't get me wrong, it's lovely. 
It's Bruce's new range of fabrics, Goosey Goose. I've never heard them. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never, ever heard of it. It's nice. Beautiful print. £27.96. Beautiful. Okay, that's the last of my bundles. Got some pre-cuts to show you now. Liberty Fat Quarters. Got three Liberty Fat Quarters. Okay, so I'll give you the number. MQYV48. Flower show. Oh, I had these earlier in the in the but in the the, the purples look. These are fat quarters. You get five fat quarters there for sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Oh, it's pronounced juicy juice. Says Jan. How funny! I know it's pronounced juicy juice. I heard it before. Yeah, but who said it? Was it Rebecca Harrison? Not Rebecca Harrison. I don't mean Rebecca Harrison at all. I mean, Rebecca Reed, sorry. Blaming Rebecca Harrison then. 16.99. And what reason would that be, Bruce? 16.99. Bruce is a bit upset now because he's had the, his, his collection taken away from him. He's then just launched Brucey Bruce. Five fat quarters. Now, on, I shan't name any names, but on Facebook, somebody I know this morning put, I've, I can't remember what he put, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later, I'll tell you later, but I can't figure out basically is if he's left his job or he's been pushed out of his job. Right, it's not here, it's not here, it's not here. Right, so now I've got STYV91. You got past, is it? Oh no, I've got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. There we go. This is rather lovely. Oh look, there's the one called Sally Ann. And I think Sally Ann's in with me next week. One, two, three, four, five. Sixteen ninety nine. For five fat quarters. Beautiful. Lovely little treat. To, it's going to come to you in the new year. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I know, 2023. That's frightening, isn't it? 16 and then I've got that one in a different colourway. Oh. No, no, I've, I've thrown the bag for that one on the floor, but the bag's got the label on it, so I'll leave this one with the label on it. Oh, this is pretty, this one. Look, pretty colours. Oh, there's another Sally Ann in there. There you go. Artist Home, this one in Sunset. Morning, everyone. Just got woken up by a text on the phone. What have I missed? Catherine! Yes, get the calendar. There's still some left. The John Scott calendar. We put it as an early bird, so we reduced the price to nine ninety nine. Very naughty. There's still some left. Sixteen ninety nine. No, only nine left. Only nine of those left. What are you saying, Bruce? Giddy up. Bruce is in a funny old mood today, isn't he? Poor old Bruce, on Sunday, he's doing our shift here, 8 till 12, gets 20 minutes to eat a sandwich, and then he starts on Hobby Maker. Not even a turkey sandwich. Well, how do you know what sandwich it is? Already? Oh, you make your own sandwiches? Oh, he makes his own sandwiches. Oh. Uh, yeah, they are. They are. Yeah, service station. We checked. 
Oh, in fact, I wonder if Roxana's watching because she sent a link to, for me to know which service station to stop on the way down. Hi, John. Granny Gwen, 104 years. <laughs> Sends her best wishes. You should be being serious. Granny Gwen, who's 104 years young, sends her best wishes for Christmas from New York. Got her calendar ordered from Vivienne Lynn. Oh, what? So my calendar's going to Australia and that's going to New York. Oh, what we should do is when my book came out, loads of people took it on, like, on holiday and took pictures of it around different swimming pools. Maybe we should do that with the calendar as well in different people's kitchens around the world or sewing rooms around the world. Be nice, wouldn't it? Right, okay, moving on. Oh, that's that one. Printed Fat Quarters Naturals. 9 99 So that one looks like a calico. That one looks like a jute. That one looks like a sailcloth. That one's like a printed um, canvas. Well, the two printed canvases there. Let me just read this. So they're 55% Hessian, 45% cotton, and 100% cotton. Oh, okay. So hang on. Three of them are 55% Hessian and 45% cotton. That's those three. And then these two are 100% cotton. Beautiful. 9 99 What are you going to make out of those in the new year? Something for your sewing room. Look. Oh, upset down. You can make a little basket out of them, yeah. Only eight available now. Only eight of these available. At nine, nine, ten, don't you start sneezing. Oh, there it is. You shouldn't hold it in. No, you shouldn't hold it in. It's not good for your pelvic girdle. Derek, Derek off um, Gems has this thing where he looks into a light and he puts his tongue on the top of his mouth. Right, but it doesn't work. What stops you sneezing? Oh no, it's supposed to stop you sneezing. And also, if you're on telly, you're not supposed to sneeze at all because the adrenaline, if you, in your adrenaline film, your body won't sneeze. Because obviously, because you know, in the old days, right, when you're a caveman, your adrenaline used to run when you were being chased by a dinosaur or something. So your body would stop you from sneezing so the dinosaur couldn't hear where you were. That's where it all comes from. It means you've not got adrenaline come pumping if you're sneezing at the moment. Or you got a cold. Some more exercises. Oh no, you'll get Bruce all of flutter if you do that. Natural fat quarters now. Now this would be brilliant if you're going to do like a picture like Delphine did the other day with the sheep. Because look, you've got your jute, your canvas, your calico and your sailcloth. There's just four in this one. £8.99. £8.99. Oh, here you go. Roxana's watching. The Moto service station said they have Smiths and Costa open on Christmas Day. Thank you, Roxana. Roxana. So I'll make sure I stop at a Moto on my way down. And Roxana, have you bought the calendar? Oh, no, I can't drive with the coffee. I have to stop and drink it and then set on my way. Well, no, because if it's in the thing next to you and then the top pops off or something when you're driving. 8 99 And if I'm not getting my dinner, to, if I'm not getting my Christmas lunch till 5.30... I'll be starving by then. Oh, that, that rugby's moto. Yeah. Rugby's too early, though. If I'm driving from here to the Wirral, I need one around halfway a lot. You know, I want Sandbatch or somewhere like that, don't I? Oh, Gloucester's posh, yeah. I don't pass Gloucester. It's the wrong motorway. Don't pass Gloucester services. Yeah, the only trouble with Gloucester is you can't get from one side to the other. So if you're meeting friends who are travelling in the opposite direction, one of you has to carry on all the way, turn around and come back to join them. And then when you leave, the person who hasn't had to do that has to drive all the way that way to turn around to go back like that. They're only either or, either or one side or the other. You can't, there's no bridge or anything to go across. Right. Oh, God, I've still got some more fat quarters. Well, no, 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 it's, it's up to you. I've got Moda 10 inch charm pack, I've got the flower pot, and I've got Adam's Town. Adam's Town first. Very popular on pre order, this one. 
Oh, I can see why. Lovely colours. Like ginger. There's a black, right? There's black range at the back there. Then you've got like olive. Then you go to the gingers. Then you go into the... I don't know what colour to call that. Ochre. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, maybe. Then we're into the... Yeah, then we're into the chocolate. Oh, when, I went to Dulcie's for dinner on... Um, not last night, the night before. And she made, uh, made aubergine parmigiano from, from my main course, which she gave me a great big Tupperware dish to take home and had that last night. But she also made a trifle and it was delicious. And because I don't drink, she didn't put any sherry in it. So all the other people around the table got their things. She had no sherry, so she put uh, Baileys all over it. And one of the guests went, is it real Baileys or is it a supermarket knockoff? Oh, how? oh no! Oh no! That was Claire. She'll be watching. She'll be watching. Beautiful, that one, isn't it? Forty-seven ninety-nine. Now, apparently, Aldi in Stratford Avon yesterday was completely empty. Yeah, apparently so. And yet, waitress, you couldn't. Be. And the lady, I, I, I went along with my trolley. I didn't have much in my trolley because I was only getting my dinner. And the lady, I thought, oh, there's no queue at this one, so I dived into that one really quickly. Anyway, the lady in front of me had a, one of the big deep trolleys piled high like this and she was on her own she said oh my husband just told me to go and get the get the shopping anyway she, anyway in the end she ended up at the other end packing and i was unpacking a trolley to put on the on the um conveyor belt and everything she had so much stuff she'd bought everything for christmas in one go right then i've got modar flower pot now i don't know this one by Lella boutique hang on i can't save that bit there these are lovely oops these are lovely i don't know leather boutique there we go put them in shot 47.99 <clears throat> oh they're pretty look so you've got your big flower then you've got your like thistles ferns this is all on teal then you've got your um writing then you've got your, like your tiles look at that cow parsley Jan says, morning, gorgeous. Can I have a peep at the calendar? Oh, honestly. Yeah, in a minute, Jan. In a minute. Then you've got your spots. Then you move into your neutrals. Oh, that's nice. That was like ticking, that one. Cow parsley. So we're still in the neutrals here. Then we go into the creams. Nice. And now they change the colour of the cow parsley on the cream, look. Tiles. Then we've gone into the <coughs> caramel. Call that one caramel, I think. The, oh, oh, excuse me. Then we've got the greens. Oh, see, I thought you meant you didn't need it, so you just... <laughs> That's a lovely colour, isn't it? Sage, I'd call that one, sage. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 47 99 that one. That's lovely. I've not seen that one before. Beautiful. Flower pot from Moda. 10-inch layer cake. OK, let me put... Oh, look at the time. Remember, everybody who buys something today... Your name goes into the virtual hat, and at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, I'll be announcing the winner of all of these goodies. That's you, Bruce. There you go. There's a quilt, a mode of quilt. There's a ruler. There's a cutting mat. There's an iron, and there's Aurifil threads, all to be won by one person tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, Jan, here's the calendar. It's supposed to be 12 99 Jan, but we reduced it to 9 99 Oh, okay, we'll just finish this and then we'll go for a break. So if you come in and buy this, right? If you come in and buy this, your name goes in the hat and one of you will win that lovely bundle we just showed you. I'm not going to show you all the pictures. Oh, I don't want to go. Actually, I can say this is Ripley, right? Who was on the Dog of the Month panel this week. She... It's gorgeous. I'll put it in my email. It's a she. I emailed the show going, it's a she. She's a she. Anyway, 9 dollars 
There it is, Namit. Oh, not that, not that. Oh yeah, one of you will win that if you buy anything today. We're going for a break now. Make sure, make sure you check out. Also, the other thing I've got to tell you is in this next advert coming up now, right? On Christmas Day, Alison, Mary and Mary and Alison and I will be reading out Christmas messages, right? But you need to send them in for us to read them out. Watch this advert. So, what are you doing on Christmas Day? Come and join me and Alison, Mary and Mary and Alison from 8 till 12 on Sewing Street. I know, we've got William Morris fabrics, we've got a William Morris quilt and we're going to be reading out your Christmas messages. So you need to get them in now, right? And you need to send them to studio at sewingstreet.com. That's studio at sewingstreet.com. Come and join us. We have such a lovely time. Remember, though, it's only 8 till 12 on Christmas Day. It happens at Christmas all over the town. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating with the people that you love. And I'll see you in the new year. Bye. Feel these vibes. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Merry Christmas everybody. Um, thank you ever so much for all the support that you've given me in 2022 and I cannot wait for 2023 to bring you all the new designs on Sewing Street. Happy New Year everybody and have a fantastic Christmas from me Becky Alexander Frost. Bye! Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! everyone it's Cara here I'm just popping by to wish you all a really happy Christmas I hope you manage lots of wonderful sewing in 2023 bye-bye if you're a sewing street customer no matter how many times you check out in one day you will only pay one postage and packaging so don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello everybody, it's Claire from Native Lighting and I just wanted to wish all of Sewing Street viewers a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I look forward to seeing you all on set in December and January. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Christmas and a Happy New Year from me and from Freddie. 
follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. This is how brilliant our call centre are, right? Remember Bernie just messaged in saying, oh, I've put everything in my basket and it says it's pending. And we said, just ring the call centre. She just messaged saying, rang the call centre, John. Fantastic, friendly service. Sorted issue immediately. Mick deserves a Christmas bonus. So Mick, thank you for sorting that out for uh, Bernie. Um, and Claire's watching. Claire, have you bought your calendar yet? Hello, have you bought your calendar yet? Now, it should be 12 99 but we did it as an early bird. Oh, hang on, we're having a problem with the cat. Hang on, we're just waiting. Nine ninety nine is your calendar. Your John's got official calendar for twenty twenty three. I know. Make sure you check out, check out, check out. Hundreds have gone already. Hundreds have gone. Beautiful nine. I'm not going to show you all the pictures, obviously. Look, January. Toot. But I don't, I, if I'd known the radiator was there, I'd have moved the chair a bit. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, never mind. And there's me on my sofa with my Norman cat. And there's me with my, in my dining room with my sewing machine. 680 plus, what you're about to use, isn't it? It is, yes. <clears throat> so it's 9 99 Make sure you check out, check out, check out. Loads. Oh, dear, listen to me. <clears throat> Loads in buzz. It's because, I tell you why. During the break, I had my gluten-free lemon muffin, and I always do this, don't I? I always come back on, and I'm coughing and spluttering everywhere. Emily's here. Hello. Hello. Hi. I've just seen that jumper on a girl on the yeah, telly. Yeah, I know. I'm a bit embarrassed. I've got some. Have you only got one <laughs> Christmas? Oh, you oh. only got one Christmas jumper then. That was a mannequin um, falling over. I've don't got we? another one. Oh. But it's it's an older one, and I don't I don't wear that as much. Oh, as much? You mean you wear it in real life? I think I wore it last year. I've not wore it this year though. This is this is it, this has got flashing lights on it. This. What? Can I show you? Can I put my flashing lights on? Yeah. There? What are you doing? Where are they? They're inside. Jump. Hang on. Can oh my Can word! Hang on, hang on. We're going to dim the lights. See if that makes a difference. Woo! <laughs> oh wow! Look. <laughs> oh, where did you get that from? Asda. Oh, this year. No, last year. Oh, last year. Yeah. But as well. Oh look. <clears throat> now just do it the other way. What colour was it the other way? Oh, wow. I like to be fancy, mate. <laughs> Beautiful. It's good, isn't it, that? <laughs> right, now, let's see. What are we making? What are we making? Oh, I know. We're making uh, the Amber Makes Gingham Tote, right? So the one we've already made is the grey one here. So what you get in your bundle is you get your uh, instructions. They're all going in the right place. They get the instructions. Then you get half a metre of your grey. And then I'm presuming these are fat quarters of white, little, little grey, pale grey <laughs> and darker grey. £18.99. pence. Uh, so three fat quarters and half a metre fabric plus your instructions, eighteen ninety nine. And uh, do you want me to get you the bag? Oh, Apple. And here, that will make you this little bag. Well, it's not that little, actually. It's quite a good size, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Nice base on it as well, so you can fit plenty in. And you what? Nice base on it. Oh, base? So, yeah. You've it's been mixing with more... Accent, Wait, I was going to say, I think you've been mixing with a lot of Barnsleyites yeah. this week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's that one. That's that one. So that, that's the one you, that's already made. The one that's about to be made is this one here in the denim. <clears throat> so you get the instructions. <clears throat> Excuse me. Already popular. Half a metre of the blue. And then you get a fat quarter of that. Now, remember, these fat quarters will be bigger because this fabric is wider. So you get the indigo, the indigo, the medium, and the pale. This is the four ounce denim, plus your half a meter of your fabric, plus your instructions, 18.99. Very, very popular, that one. Beautiful. Then we also have like the apricot version. So again, you get your instructions. You get half a metre, I'm calling it apricot, it might not be apricot. Red? Red? Oh, there's not red There's nothing that. red about this bundle. <laughs> right, so you get your apricot lining there, then you get like a cream, another apricot and a rust. No red, there's no red there whatsoever, whoever re re 
wrote that down. 1899. Now, if you don't like the red <clears throat> and you've got your own fabric, you can get the pattern on its own. Use three different tones of fabric to create a gingham effect for this lined, roomy bag, says uh, Amber Makes. 9.99 for the pattern on its own. 9.99 for the pattern on its own. Beautiful. Now you will need some H640. I'm just having a look. H640. Oh, now this is the big bit. Hang on, let me just see what you're getting. Get a meter. Meter by 90 centimeters, this one. There you go. That's what you get for your nine ninety nine. That'll be plenty, won't it, for the yeah, bag? Yeah, you meant to wads it out of that. Oh yeah, I was going to say you yeah, could, couldn't you? Because you could fit it up there. And the other thing you will need, well, if you're going to do it, is an, a magnetic clasp. Oh, do you know what? You know when your fingers are a little bit um, dry at the end, and yeah. you run it over H six forty, it catches. Catches, yeah. Catch him. Weird. Uh, magnetic clasp. Now you could come in. And just buy this magnetic glass for £2.99. You're, and that's all you buy for the whole day. Your name will still go into the virtual hat. And you could win that tomorrow at 10 o'clock. There's a motor quilt in there. There's an iron, there's orofil threads, there's a ruler and there's a cutting mat. Worth over £200. And it's... Well, you might. Morning, John and team. Got my calendar. Is that what the secret photo shoot was around? Yes, Pauline, it was. Uh, Lowe says, morning from Blair Gallery. I've already put my moisturiser on, but I can do some more, thank you. I've got my Steam's moisturiser, it's available on the website. Right, uh, I've shown you everything. Would you like to show us how to make it Yes, now? of course I would. So, I'm making the denim one. Yeah. So, here's what I've started, at least so I can sort of show is you. Is it easy? Yes, it is. I would say it's very beginner friendly. Brilliant. Um, and it's got quite a nice effect to it with the three different tones to it. Yeah. So the front <coughs> and back of the outer consists of five rows. So I've done the four rows already, and I'm going to show you how to do the fifth row. Okay, do they give you an order of, yes, of where which, to put the fabric? Yeah. So it will sort of say row one, uh, dark mid, dark mid, dark mid, and then row two goes light mid, light mid. Yeah, brilliant. And that sort of thing. Okay, message for you here. Please, what time? Oh, what time is the dress behind your feet, Sir Shirley? That's your next hour, isn't it? So That's 11, 11, 11 o'clock, yes. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. The so back. I've got all my squares cut out here and it tells you exactly how many squares to cut out in each fabric um, and what size to do it. Yeah. And we're going to do dark and mid. So I'm just going to pop them right sides together and I'm going to sew using a quarter inch seam allowance Brilliant. to sew those two together. So you switched on. on. I am now. This is the machine I've got that features in my calendar. Hang on, Do you want the quarter inch uh, seam lats put on? You're all right with it. Where are you going? Um, no, I'll be all okay. You'll be all right. Okay, Just brilliant. My foot's going a bit. Um, you got enough room? Will it reach? Yeah, managed. If you get the 680 today, uh, it's got a special deal with it, by the way. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Let's get on with the sewing and I'll tell you about it in a minute. So that's that done. Um, and then I'll, I'll press all my seams at the end, but it also tells you which way to press your seams. So it recommends, um, throwing all my squares away, it recommends um, it, one row you'd press all your seams to the left and then your next row to the right. Yeah. But if you've got a personal preference, you can always press them open. It's but also, whatever. if you press one the wrong way, you can just turn it round, couldn't you? Yeah. Because it, it just goes, yeah. it's just two colours, isn't two it? Two colours, so, yeah. yeah, that's it. So I'm now going to get another dark one and right. pop that right sides together and I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance down that side Lovely. as well. It's the first time I've used this machine, it's very nice. Oh is it? Mm. You've not, not been given that one before? No. That's a lovely machine. It's very, very nice. When I uh, first um, used it, I was doing some samples for one of my shows and everything, and um, it's just so easy to use. Yeah. I, I kind of looked at it and was like, oh, this is too complicated for me, all these buttons I and everything. I thought that when I saw it, I thought, oh, I thought now then, this is more complicated than what, what yeah. I've had when I've been here before, but, but it's, it's not very smooth. I mm. like it. So I'm going to keep repeating that process, but now I'm doing the mid colour, and again, right sides together. Obviously, you can pin if you need to. Uh huh. Oops. 
I like the um, when you've got the scissor buttons on these machines. Yeah, exactly. My favourite. So, um, so tell us about the um, the proposal. Yes. Yeah, so. Um, Gosh, when we're it now? September. Yeah, because I haven't seen you since then, no, have I? Yeah, no, yeah. I've not seen you, have I? Yeah, 5th of September, uh, we were in Cornwall, because I think I'd seen you, hadn't I? You, you were, yeah, just before, because we you were like, it's going to rain, and you were like, going, we're going camping, we've got the yeah, dog, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, because I came here 31st of August, yes. and then we were going on the 5th of September. That's right, that's right. And we looked at the weather forecast, and it didn't we? bad it was, weather. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it turns out, we were going to propose midweek, but when we got there, we went straight to the beach because the weather was lovely. So we were like, oh, if it's going to rain all week, let's go to the beach now. Um, so we were sat on the beach and he goes, um, I'm just going to go back to the car and put my swim shorts on. Oh, um, yeah. See if we can entice dog um, to go and see. And I says, oh, OK, then. Never thought. He says, will you be OK? And I says, yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Um, anyway, that were his you to go he went and got the ring out of the car so he'd kept it in the car oh. um and yeah he just he didn't get down on one knee or anything like that but it was he didn't still, just go well she get married then no we he came you'd and have sat, to tell you'd have to say all the words he no used, but. he came and sat behind me yeah and then we were just chatting away and then next thing i know this oh. <laughs> this ring box just like appeared in my face and he went emma will you marry me and i just were like <gasps> about blooming what? time you said yeah because obviously last time we'd been saying haven't we yeah. oh, it's never gonna happen yeah so i was just i was sh i was shocked and oh I, and had I, he chosen the ring and everything yeah then? yeah he chose ring and everything and i think he's done a very good job oh so. was it the right size <gasps> yeah and he what he'd done was he'd um i'd been at my auntie's and he went to go buy it while i were at my auntie's and my mum were with me at my auntie's um and he took one of the rings out out of my jewelry box that he knew were too small right and he went and he said this is too small for us so she needs like an x size up oh. and that's how he knew what size to get oh. and that that day when he went and bought it he went to my dad and asked my dad's permission as oh well. so your dad knew before you did my mom, then my mum knew as well because he only told my dad but then my dad couldn't hold it in and my dad told my mum. Oh. And then when I rang when I rang to tell him, obviously I video called him and I knew my mum knew. Oh, she was just grinning. Good... She's like, this just on phone. What you been up to then today? <laughs> <laughs> and I waited ages to sort of oh, say yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like and I just showed him ring us a Sam's asked me to marry him and she just like went I knew, I knew. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it funny though how the boys oh. get really nervous when they're going to do it? But you, he you... weren't, do you know what? And he weren't. Oh, he wasn't nervous? No, and I would have never... I, like I said, I've never... You know how some people say I knew something yeah, was yeah. going off? Well, you didn't. The week before, you had no idea because no. you were saying, oh, it's Even never going to happen. Even night before, so he'd kept it up in his loft, the ring, <gasps> when he bought it. Blimey, you that... Because he knew I wouldn't go in laugh. Okay, but you he can go in every other drawer in the house. You're going yes. to his sock drawer and yeah. everything. Yeah, so he put it up there and I were in the bath the night before we went. And he went, I'm going up in loft. I went, what are you going up there for? Oh, and he no. went, well, I'm just going to have a look, see if we've got any games to take with us. Because I'd mentioned it'd be nice to take like a card game if it were going to rain. Rain, yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to have a look. So he knew, obviously, I wouldn't see him get it out because I was at it bath, so... You've got it planned to perfection, really, hey. haven't you? <laughs> so, and did you say yeah. yes straight away, or did you make him wait? Oh, we'll have a think about it. Well, about five minutes has passed, and he went... Oh, you haven't said yes? And I, because I just kept going, what? Oh. I think first thing that said, I kept, said were, you what? You what? Not proper northern, that, isn't it? Um, because I just kept going, are you joking? Oh, he's bought your ring. He's yeah. not going to be joking but if I he's bought your ring. I don't know, it was So now, shock. get this right, so they got engaged on what date was it? 5th of September. And what day you get married? July next year, 22nd of July So not even year. a year? Not even a no. year engagement? No. Oh. Long enough though for us, that. Oh yeah, no, totally. No, I was saying this earlier <laughs> when we were talking about it. I don't understand people who get engaged and go, oh, we'll get married in four years time. Oh, and you're I thinking, oh. I, um, I've got no, what's the word? Patience. No patience at all. Um, so I think he knew deep down that if he ever asked me, he said, I mean, mum said, my mum said, he's always said, Sam, that even if we ever did get married, it would be with the intention of, 
you know, pre like preparing to get married within. You know, straight away, yeah, 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 yeah straight yeah. away. So you're very lucky to get a venue, aren't you? So quickly yeah, as well. Yeah, but we've got a good deal, so excellent. So yeah, it's all. Um, <clears throat> we've not. <clears throat> we sort of spent the first month or so getting a lot of things planned, and then we've stopped now until after Christmas. Yeah, We're yeah, not yeah, gonna yeah, bother, yeah. bother with anything else. Has he got his outfit? He's not got his suit now. I've got my dress. Right. He's not got a suit. So you haven't got it, got, got it yet, though. You just no, I've it, ordered yeah. it, but I'm not going to be going until could be June time with yeah. the adult fittings because I've, I've been trying to lose a bit of weight, so, yeah. so I might as well wait. Hey. I know. Can't right. believe okay, it. Right, okay, so uh, we'll come back to this story in a minute. So yes. we've done a whole row of the denims then. Yep, so I've pressed them all to one side. Yeah. And then I'm going to add this to the bottom. And I'm going to pop it right sides together. Lovely. And also, the only the only um, problem with you sewing one lot on your machine at home and one lot on our machine here is no matter what, all machines say quarter of an inch, but they're all slightly they're all different, different, aren't, aren't they? they you know? yeah. yeah. So you can obviously pin it if you want to. Um, depends how daring you feel, but I always find a few pins in where the seams match up. But uh -huh. having sort of your seams. You sort of can sort of see there on the overhead camera. One seam's going one way and one's yeah. going the other way. Right. Now we need bridesmaid dresses as well. That's a job for after Christmas. Uh -huh. But I think December's just oh. been mad. Uh, so Katie, what's the matter? It says, hi, Emily Beth Roberts. Is that your whole name, Emily Beth Roberts? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, actually, oh, hang on. Where's it gone? Hi, Emily Beth Roberts and John Scott. Having real problems? Place some order for your calendar. Right, if you have any issues, just ring the call centre. They're there, up there now. Bernie had a bit of a problem as well earlier. 0800 001 4433. Completely free call and they'll sort it out for you. Well, in July next year, I'll not be Emily Beth Roberts. No, what will you be then? I'll be Emily Beth Gillett. Giblet. 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 <laughs> no, no. G G I L L O Double T. Oh. Yeah. That's but nobody name. can pronounce it right. So if we're ever in a waiting room and they call Sam, the, he gets um Gillette. Gillet. Gillet. Yeah. Gillet. Gile. Where's it come um, from? Have you looked it into research where it's come from? No. It's unusual, isn't that? It yeah. almost sounds, sounds like French, doesn't it? To me, it's, it's like uh, me and my mum were having this conversation the other day and we were saying, you know, would there be some names that you would not have changed your name for? Yeah, Ghibli. And I went, yeah, well, yeah, probably yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm quite happy to change it to, to Gillette. But it's funny because we've booked Honeymoon and because I'll have a new passport in my new name, that's how they've booked. Oh, so it's, yeah. So it's Emily Gillette on for Already? Oh, it's a bit weird. <coughs> <laughs> when you've been one name, like, all yeah. your life, it's really... Do you know what? I'd never thought about that. So if you if you haven't, don't plan ahead, you go on your honeymoon, but then one of you is yeah. still going to be called... No, the, the bride yeah. will still be called their maiden so name, wouldn't they? So the, the passport I have got is still valid, and I oh, could okay. use so it. Oh, OK, so if it doesn't arrive... Yes, yeah. um, and I can't apply for my new one until three months before. Oh, OK. And then you, it's not valid until the 22nd of July. Oh, no, so of course, it's not yeah. Valid un, like, until your wedding oh, day. Oh, yeah, of course. But yeah. I wanted us to go on holiday with the same name because it'll be novel, won't mm -hmm. it? So, so, yeah. Oh, so much to look forward to. There is. Right, so now what do we do once we've sewn so that together? So, I'm then going to press the seam up since I've pressed all these ones up. Okay. And then we can start constructing it together. It's quite handy, little irons like this, when you're doing patchwork. Yeah. It saves you getting the big the big iron out but yeah December's been a bit of a manic month I think mm -hmm. while you're pressing that I just need to tell yeah. you about the machine because if you buy the 680 today oh it's here Ugh. and I think it's for the next few days but this is the deal we've got it's the deal we had before what you get this is the present you get um, it's a hundred and three pounds worth of freebies you get a meter of green fabric meter of blue fabric meter of gold fabric you get the panel for the john scott clock you get the panel to celebrate the life of the um 
Queen Elizabeth. Uh, you get pin tins, <coughs> you get bobbins, you get scissors, you get needles for your machine, uh, and you get, what's that down there? Oh, another little plastic uh, tin there. They're all worth 103 pounds, right? Uh, but we also, Taking 50 pounds off, I paid 1249 for mine, not 1199. So you're getting 50 pounds off, plus you get all that, right? I'm only telling you that because in your bar, there's several in baskets already, and it just might, this is the clock you can make with it. Obviously you need the clock uh, mechanism and everything. Right, okay, there are only six of the bundle left. We put the bundle together for the Christmas period. There's only six of the bundle left, but I've got four people with it in their baskets right now. So if you want that, check out, check out, check out. Remember, the machine comes from Elna, the bundle comes from us, and you've got a two-year warranty. If you take the um, split pay, you will be charged no interest whatsoever. And in this day and age, with the interest rates, who knows what's happening, you won't be charged any interest whatsoever. Right, sorry, Emily. No, Can that's I... absolutely fine. Right. So um, to start sewing it together, we're going to fold this right sides together oh now Derek's looked up Gilot oh uh, I see it oh, is French on, Derek. it French? is French Ooh. I was mm. never good at French at school I wonder if somebody used to do the guillotine maybe 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 who knows oh I'm gonna have to research yeah now you've got me thinking yep yeah. right so what do we do next so then? I'm gonna sew all the way down here now to kind of make it into so obviously that's kind of one of the side seams where the fold is. Oh, okay, so there's only one side yeah, seam. Yeah, so it's like you've got a five by five grid then on, on oh, each yeah, side. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so again, making sure that your, your seams are matching. Yeah. There we go. And again, this is just a quarter inch seam allowance it yeah. throughout that I'm using. It's really quiet, this machine. It's like a really... It's a love, it's, it's, such, a nice... it's such a lovely thing. And you know, um, director Charlie, who works yeah. here, he and his girlfriend, when I went on holiday, they lived in my house. All and right, he was like, yeah. oh, will you leave your sewing machine out for me? Because he's learning to sew and oh, everything. Oh, lovely. And he's convinced I've bought him one for Christmas now. And I'm like, no, I haven't bought one of these for Christmas. But he he's going to be disappointed. Yeah, he's going to be, no, no, because he's, see, he's seen that the parts he's got is only that big, you see. So he right, knows it's so not a sewing machine in there, yeah. Oh, fair enough. So he's had the disappointment already. <laughs> That's funny, right. So, you then will also make, and I made this one earlier, um, another bit of patchwork, but this is uh, just six squares together, and that's going to be the base. So, what oh. I, Yeah. It's behind you. Isn't that funny? It looks, yeah. it looks big. You You'd know, think it was you? bigger yeah. than... I was thinking that must be... Yeah. Oh, is it because you're doing a box corner? Are you doing a box bottom? No, not really. Because it's, it's really five... Strange of, but it's, it's five across and five across. Yeah. You'll All right, see. I'll let I'll watch. I'll, see. Let, I'll see. I'll see. Yeah, go on. So what I did was fold it in half so I can find the center, and I'm just going to do a little snip. Right. Like that, and then I'm going to do the same. So you find the halfway point on that one, and yep. then you find the halfway point on the bag. Yep. Yeah, because you expect it to be at least five across, wouldn't you, if the yeah. bag's five across? So, I've got my halfway mark on there. Yeah. And the halfway mark on there. And I'm going to match them together. Right, let me grab myself some pins. And I found it easier just to pin one side to start off with because of how you've got to pivot. Yeah. All this is in the instructions, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. And I, I found it pretty... Because I've never really done a base like this before. No, I'm not no. sort of a bit like you. You kind of wonder, hmm, how's this going to work? Mm -hmm. So, essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew across here. And then when I get to the corner, I'm going to match... Oh, of course. So, you are like going that. round. For, yeah. Of course. So, it's not like a box bottom no, like what no, you no, were no. thinking. no. 
but that's why I find it easier just to pin the one, the, this one edge as you're starting off. Yeah. Um, and then sort of stop about a, a quarter of an inch away from the end. Yeah. And then pivot. Pam Minihani says, Morning, John and Emily. I've Googled the Gillot surname and they have a family motto. Oh. Alice et animo. Translated, translated means with speed and courage. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. See, Roberts is quite a common surname. Yeah, isn't it? get rid of that then. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> uh, and then, and then, hang on. Now, somebody called Quasim Craig says, "Hi, Emily Beth Roberts. Hi. Sully is watching at home, getting some good tips from his oh, mummy." Oh, hi, Sully. So Sully is so my mum and dad's neighbour, right? Uh, Freen and Craig and their little boy Sully. Oh. And obviously it's the Christmas holidays and I said to him, I said, oh, you could watch me on TV. Well, he's so, watching. Hello, Sully. I he's hope watching. you're learning lots of good tips. Oh, and that's who, so that's who your mum's next door neighbour? Yes, my mum's next oh. door neighbour. So I, I went and uh, went round to my mum's other night and um, must have picked some up from neighbours and I'd just missed Sully and he were very upset. How old is he? Um, oh, good question. I think he might be... I want to say five. Okay, no. how old is he? Let message in, tell us how old he is. Sully. I think you're five. Uh, but yeah, I went back round and gave him a big cuddle. Oh. So, yeah. uh, Pam Mini Harney, have you bought your calendar? Make sure you buy your calendar. And Georgina, have you bought your calendar? So I've pivoted myself round. Yeah. So same again when I get to the bottom of the short edge. About a quarter inch away, and if you keep your needle in that down position, yeah, you can then match. And then I'm going to match those two little snips. Not did. Yeah. So I know then it's even along the bottom. I think there'll be a lot of people. I think I know a lot of people watching today because a lot of people are off work or well, like yeah. my it, brother it, might be watching. So who? My brother. Oh, your brother? I was yeah. going to your mother's not because she's in the green room. She's got it on on the phone though. Watching, oh, is she? So, hi, mum. Oh. <laughs> Did you make her get up super early to drive up? Yeah. Well, I picked her up at just before five o'clock this oh, morning. Oh, I bet she was loving that. Yeah. She said that. She says I'm tired. Oh. <laughs> Um, was it foggy? It was thick fog yeah. in my village yeah. when I left, yeah. It, we kept going through like patches of it, so it was foggy and then we'd go, oh, we have like drove out of it and then no sooner as we'd said that, it was. Yeah, it drove back into it But again. we're wondering what it's going to be like on the way home because my dad's text to say that there's an amber warning for traffic. But it's the last Friday, isn't it, before Christmas? Oh, no, 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 there'll be people going so away. Yeah, I exactly. Think, I think How many people are going to Barnsley for their Christmas, you see? That's what you have to work out. Who knows? No, no, because oh, nice. it is the Friday before Christmas, it isn't is, it? Yeah. yeah. And also, did you say it was raining now? Yeah, it's chucking yeah. it down. Oh, is it chucking it down? Yeah. Yes, it's very dreary out there. Yeah. Although I'm glad it weren't snowing because oh. I, I don't know how I'd have contended with snow no. coming here. No. <laughs> It's really weird because I, in my village it was really, really, really thick. We got snowed in, and then yeah, I came in here. But photo. I know. But then two days later, drove in here. There's no snow we've here been, at all. We've not had anything in Barnsley. Oh, have you we've not? had frost and it's been very icy. Yeah, but, but we've no not snow. had snow, so we've not been trapped in or anything. Get rid of this, so I can show you what this looks like. Okay. So that is. That creates your bottom your there, base. brilliant. Right, so... It's nice in the denim, isn't it? It looks really lovely in the yeah, denim. Yeah, I keep seeing quite a lot of, um, like, on the high street at oh, the minute, denim bags. Very on trend. Very on trend, yeah. everybody. Oh, so, so you're putting it away now, are you then? Yes, we're going to work on the lining next. Okay. So, um, obviously, your lining's not patchwork, but it tells you exactly what you need to cut. Yeah. And I've constructed this in the exact same way as what I've just done with the outer. Right. The only difference being in the base, I've left a gap for turning later on. Uh, Georgina says, congratulations, Emily, on your engagement. Oh, thank you. Georgina, we bought the calendar. Uh, Sharon says, it's still foggy in Barnsley and now it's raining. Mm. Oh dear. Mm. 
And then Sully is five. Five. And shame on you, Emily, for forgetting. I'm it so, says. I'm <gasps> so sorry. Uh, he was very upset when he missed her the other night. He were. Oh. He were. But I went round um, and gave him a cuddle. Oh. So all were all right. Okay, so the there. bottom is exact same. And did you did you do the square at the bottom? Exactly the same, same square. Yeah. Just left a gap for two. Where, and and where's your eight six forty? Oh, your eight six forty. So on, I've on done it on that. Now it does say in the pattern to do it on your patchwork. Right. But so I could have it done. And ready. Oh yes, Today, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. And to be fair, yeah. because I'm putting the uh, magnetic snap on this bit, it does make it stronger if you've yeah, got some yeah. wadding. So it doesn't matter it. which one it goes Not on. Not really, really no. no. So I'm gonna find the centre. Okay, this is just the lining, isn't it? Now? This is just the lining with the H640 yeah. on it. And what we can say is, so you have the hole in the in the, the yeah, base. A yeah, hole in the base. You could you could leave your hole. On the side, should you wish, as yeah, it doesn't yeah, really doesn't matter, make no. much difference. No. Uh, da, da, da. Morning, Steph. You have no posters come up so far of yours. Karen from Wigan says, watching whilst finishing my wrapping, sat in front of the fire. Oh, you bought nice. your calendar, Karen from Wigan. That Wigan needs this calendar. Yeah, we want them all over the country, please. <coughs> so I've just found the halfway mark and one and a half inches down and then I'm going to get so your magnetic snap you'll get obviously both sides and then you get these little bits as well yeah so I'm going to use that to put that little mark in that center hole Excuse me if I'm a bit sniffly as well. I had the cold last oh, week. Oh, don't you be coming in here with I'm your sniffles. I'm all all right now. I feel like I've got over it. Oh, it's, it's the one yeah. you've had. It's not one coming Yeah, but in. my little sniffles still. Yeah. I've yeah. been drinking Lemsips in the morning. Uh, and I haven't had any cold or anything. Yeah. And I've got that spray up my nose that kills off cold oh, germs. Oh, yeah. Because there's so many people in this building with yeah. colds and Well, everything. Sam had it first and then he passed it on to me. Oh. It just seems like everybody's yeah. going it now. I know. But my nan and boss is in hospital at the moment, so I couldn't go see my nan for a couple of days yeah. because I didn't want to pass anything on to her. Right, so I've marked the little lines that are next to this little circle and I'm going to use my little scissors mm -hmm. to cut some little snips. And then I'm going to poke that through there and then get that bit that we've just used, yeah. place it over and then some people bend them forwards, I bend them that way. Out, do you bend them out? Outwards. Oh, outwards, yeah, yeah, yeah. I find yeah. that's a bit yeah. stronger. But having that bit of wadding on the back is just going to exactly, yeah. strengthen that. Brilliant. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just, to make it easier for myself, I'm going to turn it back this way. Yeah. Because I want to make sure that the other part lines up. Of, co of course, Perfectly. Yeah. So I'm going to get the other piece of this. Uh, Julie in South Yorkshire. Hi, Emily. Love to see you and John together. Love you both loads. Oh, thanks, Julie. Do you know that is? South York Barnes is I in South Yorkshire. I do know a Julie yeah. in South Yorkshire, in, in Barnsley. So oh. whether it's the same one. Who knows? Kate says, just tuned in. Congratulations to Emily and her partner. Oops, fiance. <laughs> She's such a delight. All the very best for the... Oh, it's from Eileen. That's right. Not oh, Kate. Eileen. Eileen, that one is. Sorry. You. Come on, Eileen. <laughs> so I've just put that little bit there over what I've just done. This is how I do it anyway. Uh, Margaret Johnson, Merry Christmas to John and everyone at Stone Street. Uh, Sue said, got my calendar, good early birthday. Margaret, did you get your calendar? Uh, John, me and Pat Mason both got our calendars. Merry Christmas to you from Janet. Thank you. Cool. Thank you loads of you buying the calendars. I want to know what picture it is in August because it's my birthday in August. Can you show me a sneak peek? I think that might not be me, that one. It might be the one that's not me in August. I thought they were all you. They were, apart from... I'm in here. Oh, no, no, that's August. I haven't shown them August. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, not I showing like that one. one. August is good. <laughs> yeah, August is good. Uh, I made a gift bag yesterday and did my second ever buttonhole to make a tab. I'm feeling very proud, says Amanda. Well done, Amanda, well my love. Well done. Make sure you buy your calendar as well. So exactly the same with this one. And then obviously these will snap Lovely. together. So we can pop that to one side for the time being as well. Uh-huh. And we're going to work on the... 
strap next. Right, right. So again, tells you exactly what you need to cut. And we're going to put it lengthways, right sides together. It's nothing inside the straps then, they're no, just the fabric. No, you could though, you could put some H, because you'll have plenty of your H640 that you could put some. Yeah. I suppose it depends what you're planning on putting in your exactly, bag, really. Exactly, If you put potatoes in, I'd definitely put some H640. Do you like the Christmas pudding nails, by the way? Oh, what? Well, little Christmas pudding. I didn't even on. notice. Oh, let's have a look from upstairs. Hang on, don't move your hands a minute. There you go. It's just coming in now. Are they all Christmas puddings? No, just oh. on me, on my ring fingers. Christmas oh, puddings. Very nice. Yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> I, try, I thought I'll try and feel festive. Yeah. I'm struggling to feel festive. It's weird, I think it's Christmas in two days' time, isn't it, it's really? It's very strange, yeah. isn't it? It doesn't feel like it. I've still got some shopping to do and I've definitely got some wrapping to do. Hey. So, I'll be doing that when I get home. Can't even expect much from Sam. He's already forked out on a engagement yeah, ring. Yeah, we've not gone. We've not gone mad. We had well, we first said um, we were going to do a twenty-five pound budget each and just do like stocking fillers. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we went to um, our local shopping centre in. Um, we go to Sheffield to Meadowall. Oh yeah, I love Meadowall. Yeah, yeah. it's um, huge. It's got its own train station, Meadowall. Yeah, isn't it has. Yeah. yeah. So we went there, we finished off the Christmas shopping that we'd got to do together and then we dispersed and uh, oh, went. Yeah. But we soon realised that there's not much you can get for £25 no, these days. No. So we had to up it to £50. Oh, OK. So... What, did you come together and go, I'm not doing very well, and then, went, then separated again? So we ended up, we were just texting each other around Meadowall and he just kept saying, well, I'd said... I've spent over already, like without realising only on two things as I've spent over already. And there were other things I knew I wanted to yeah. get. Um, did so you give him a list of what you wanted or was he quite good I, like that? Well, I did give him some ideas, but he's very, very good. I'll, I absolutely hand that to him every year. I could say something in May, I could say, Oh, I right, want one of those. And I will remember. Oh, I'll nice. Oh, that, no, I like yeah. present buyers like that. Yeah. yeah. So, right, so we sound down just the long edge. Just then. down the long edge, and I'm going to turn this the okay. right side out. And it's wide enough that you shouldn't struggle to turn this the right side out. Uh, Christine's just tuned in. She says, What have I missed? She says, She loves you, Emily. Oh, Christine, thank you. you need to buy the calendar. Christine. Calendar. Buy the calendar, buy the <laughs> calendar. Uh, Melanie says, uh, John and Emily, great show. But if you don't want to use a snap, can you put a zip in instead? You would have to make like, um, do your zip separately on like um Like a placket. Like yeah, a, on a placket yeah. type of a thing. And then so you Or gusset, it, really. Yeah, gusset, that's a better word yeah. for it, isn't it? And um, then sew it in. And then sew that onto your lining then. So you, you could, yeah, but... I would do it on a separate, like yeah, a separate yeah, yeah. Don't sew it into the actual yeah. bag. Morning, says Ange. Watching with Mum in Scarborough. Got my calendar. Do you know? Do you know, please, John, if a parcel has arrived at the studio? No, no, it hasn't. Where? What address did you put on it, Ange? Um, I know, now you see, Fran messaged on my Facebook Live on Sunday saying that there was a parcel for us up in the call centre and that's not come down yet, so I'll check in the call centre later. See if it's gone there, Ange. Also, there's a cupboard. If you go, a, I can't remember which staircase it is. No, no, it's not upstairs, it's on this floor. If you walk through to the management suite, I suddenly realise there's loads of parcels on a cupboard there because there's one for our returns department which shouldn't be there. So I need my best to tell Roy that it needs to go to the warehouse. So I've given that a good press and yep. I'm going to sew down both long edges now. I'm going to widen... Where's your, seam? Where's your seam when you've turned it through? Is it on the edge or is on it the, the middle? Okay, there. yeah, lovely. Yeah. And I'm going to stitch down both edges. Brilliant. And I'm going to make my stitch length to about a three, just so it's like a, more of a top stitch. I suppose what you could do is, if you want to, you could make this a different colour or a fancy stitch yes. or anything like that, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. Well, to be fair, that one I've done in navy and I've got white thread on here, so we're, oh. going, we're going multicoloured. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm wanting a new sewing machine. I'm, I'm oh. liking this. <laughs> get it now while you get the bundle. Yeah, this is true. Your mum's next door, has she got your Christmas present yet? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. She says I've got to pick them up when I drop her off later. Oh, okay. Fill my car with... With all the presents. With all the presents. Fill your car with all the presents, not expecting much then. No. So you're not seeing them after today then? 
I'll see them on Christmas Day. So we're having as Christmas dinner with Sam's family. Yeah. But then we'll... Go we're there. either going to meet... Me auntie's normally hosts Christmas Day for oh, okay. my side at family. Yeah. So like my nan and granddad. But obviously my nan's in hospital and she'll not be home. So oh. Yeah, she's not very well. Oh. Um, Send her our love. I will do. But she... Um, we need to work out who's visiting me now and at what time because we all want to go visit her, but you can only have two at a time. Of course, yeah. Um, but yes, but cause normally my auntie records them so my nan can watch them when they go up. So oh. whenever you watch this, nan, I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah, so do I, nan. <laughs> nan, hope you feel better. She's soon. doing really, really well. She um, She's in intensive care. Oh, my she's word. Wo she's up, up, woken up now. Yeah. But she's not. She's not got a voice oh, um, because she's got um, tracheotomy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so we're having to lip read, and we've soon found out as a family we are quite useless at uh, lip, lip reading. reading. Yeah. yeah. So oh, God some love words her. Yeah. we're all right, but. So when you first yeah. when you first met Sam and it yeah. became serious, did you just have that awkward conversation about are you going to my family or your family? So we only ever started. So what we moved in together, this will be his third Christmas in the house that oh, we Oh yeah, but then you've together. been in, half of that was COVID, most of that was COVID. Yeah, so the first year were COVID. So we'd already said as soon as we moved in, we would alternate years. Yeah. My family is family. And because my family is bigger than his family, it made it easy that that first year with COVID, we were like, well, we'll go to your family this year because they'll like my family were already like wondering out because you could only have so many yeah, families, yeah, yeah, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So realistically, there wouldn't have been anywhere no, for us as no, such. No. So well, we'll go to your family and then year after my family. And we've just alternated like yeah. that and it, and it works. Oh but yeah, because there was one Christmas when you could only go for, you could go and visit, but yeah. you couldn't stay over. So if I went to my family yeah. in the Wirral, I'd have to finish here, yeah. drive all the way to the Wirral, eat my dinner and then drive all the way home again. So I just didn't, I didn't go. Didn't bother, no. yeah. No, so it's um, but we will we will we tend to whoever we go to, we will still see the oh, other yeah, of person's course. Yeah, family yeah, yeah, yeah. at yeah. some point. Yeah. So, so well, yeah. it's like in the old when I was young, everything shut down for two weeks, so you had plenty of time to see everybody because but you know nothing shuts, does no, it? No, nothing. N not even like Christmas Day sometimes. No, no. No, no, we've got shops open on Christmas Day. So. Uh, I'm making a raglan top whilst watching you, says Julie Vaughan. Oh, uh, morning, Emily. Love to watch your demos. Morning. You're such a bubbly personality. So much talent for someone so young. Oh, thank you. Oh, and then Laurie says, morning, Emily. Congratulations on your engagement. Oh, Enjoy the time between now and the wedding day. Um, have enjoyed your time with Sewing Street this year and hope for many more. Lots of love from Laurie. Oh, thank you. Do you know my mum's just said in car, aren't we? She said, you've only been going to Sewing Street this year, haven't you? And I went, yeah. She went, it feels like <clears throat> a lot longer. Hang on one second. What's the matter, Ben? Sorry. Oh, OK. Oh, OK. All right, then. There's something gone wrong with computers, that's all. So we'll all just right, carry on, okay. you'll find out. We can carry on sewing <laughs> everything, but we're losing Ben for a while because he's mm. got to sort something out. So what I've done is I've got one of the handles, looped it round, and I've matched it so it sort of starts, well, it's at the end of... Each of those, yeah. Each of those squares, if that makes sense. And I'm just gonna sew just close to the edge just to hold it in place for Kay. the time being. Within your quarter inch seam allowance. Yeah, as yeah. long as it's within that quarter of an inch. Yep. Well, Christine says, congratulations on your engagement, Emily. Oh, oh they're all coming in now. I'm going to say it'll not be long until we're saying we're getting married this year. Yeah, I know. It's strange, isn't it, that? It'll be, it'll be in no time. It, oh, it will. I think it'll come quick. I feel like since we've got engaged, it's gone quick. Yeah. But I'm, I'm heading by me a Christmas card while we were in Meadowalt the day because... We get married before my next birthday. So right. I said, I'm not going to get a card with fiancé on it otherwise. Oh, I think you made him buy one. I really wanted a card that said fiancé on it. Oh, honestly. Well, I'm only going to be a fiancé once. <laughs> well, let's hope so. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm optimistic. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, I made, him, I made him get... But then I bought him one, but I never realised how much cards were to buy. Yeah. 
Especially what's individual ones like that, yeah. Five pound twenty <gasps> for one card. You'll have to frame them, them as artwork yeah, in your I house. Yeah, I think a, that's a good idea. That is it padded? No, there's there's nothing fancy about it at all. And no. my mum makes cards because she's always watching Hobby Maker and my mum makes much more she beautiful could've, cards. She could have made it for you? Well, that's what he said. He went, we could have got Rebecca to make cards for Aww. us. <laughs> so he called your mum Rebecca? No, but that, that's what he called my mum, yeah, Rebecca. Oh, is that her name? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't call her Rebecca, I call her mum. Hey, what? I call her mum. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you could be yeah. like, will he not start calling her mum? I don't think so, no. Oh, okay. I've not really thought about it. No. Why do you think you should? Yeah. Might ask her if she wants. She might not want to be called mum, she no. might want to be Rebecca. She's only young, your mum, though, isn't she? Yeah, she only turned, she turned 50 in January. <sighs> She's a spring chicken, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, really? exactly. And how old are you? 27. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'll, I'll not be having a birthday until after we're married, and then my card will say wife on it then. <laughs> not if it costs five pound twenty-five, it won't. I don't care. Oh I no, but she, <laughs> Rebecca can make those then, can't yeah, she? she? Now can, you're yeah. now you're you're ready. You're ready That's for that one. That's it. So it's just a case of popping it all together then now. Right. <clears throat> so I've already got the lining turned with the wrong side facing outwards. Yeah. So because this is facing the right side outwards, I'm going to pop this into here. And I'm going to match my side seam up wherever that's gone to. Oh, you got so many seams. Oh, no, you've got your side seam in your lining, haven't you? But yeah. All the others got but so All many the seams. others, yeah, and that's what I'm uh, getting myself a bit confuddled with. There we go, that, uh, that seems right, yeah. I think. And we'll get some and I'm going to pin the two layers together and then I'm going to sew all the way around right. the out, outer edge. So nice, there's a little mate you can do in an afternoon, isn't yeah, it, really? Yeah, it is, it is. Because, I mean, you've done in and out. I know you haven't done all the patchwork in the hour, but it, by the time no, you've got No, not even out, that. You get, you get into a rhythm when, yeah, I think exactly. when you're doing, like, basic patchwork like that. And I think if you've not done patchwork before as well, it's quite a nice... Nice one to start. Nice introduction, I think. And also, don't stress if, you, if your corners don't match. If somebody oh, notices no. uh, the corner doesn't match, on, you know, it's kind of like, it's Stop. not, it's not... Stop looking too close is what you should settle exactly. on. <laughs> exactly. Be a so bit yeah, worried. I'm going to sew all the way around this top edge to Lovely. secure them together. Who's that in there? There's all sorts of people in the gallery going it's on. There. Yeah, it's all going Is on. Is it in a there. party? Are they having a party? No, no, they stress, it's stress oh, noises. It's stress, stress noise. noises. Yeah. I'm glad I can't hear them then. And who was it? Who was that just talking then? Uh, to who, to who? But the person. Oh, he was, uh, he was on the phone, was he? Oh, it sounded like a robot, you see. I was like, they've got a robot in there. Oh, I'm glad I can't hear them if they're stressing. It's all sorted now, they're all oh, right. Good. Now. They're good. all right. <laughs> So you should get back to exactly where you started. You did what? You should get back round to exactly where you started. Yeah. There we go. And then, obviously, we left the gap. Yeah. And we can turn this all the right way out. Moment of truth, making sure it's all stitched. And get all them bits off afterwards and then once you're happy everything's stitched we can stitch this gap closed again you could do it you could do it by hand if you really wanted to oh no but you might as well just machine it at the bottom of the bag the isn't bag, it yeah 
Got a message. Hello, Emily. Looking very festive with the jumper. Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> oh. We were talking about you earlier, Dad. Yeah, we were. We were talking about surnames. Why didn't you bring him as well? He'll be, he's working. Oh, he works from home. He's got his own business. So oh, he's... Oh, I know this. I know yeah. this. Something doing machinery, isn't it? What's he do? He does a variety of things. So it started off where he sold postcards and he's got postcards. Yeah, he's got the largest. I think he's got the largest stock of postcards probably in the UK. Oh, wow. Um, but then he he makes all sorts now. He like prints like he prints his own postcards. He does labels. He oh does, wow. Um, he does all. Fun. He does it all from home. Yeah, he's, it got, from he's home. got a machine in the shed then. Yeah, he's got um, garage because the garage what got first converted as my sewing room when I li still lived at home. Oh yeah. And then my dad had the little office and then I swapped. Right. And so then you were left. outgrowing. Yeah. Yeah. So now my mum's well it was mine and my mum's craft sewing room, slash yeah. sewing room. So now my mum's got a craft room all to herself. So oh. Which she quite likes yeah. it. Yeah. And then she works from home sometimes as well, my mum so she works she doubles it as her as her office when she's. What does she do then? What she works she for the local council. Oh. So she's off. She's been off all this. Oh, week. hang on, hang on. Is she meant to be working from home today? No, she's off. Oh, she's, okay. She's booked it off. She likes Sorry. the week of Christmas. Yeah. Off more than she she don't mind being in between Christmas yeah. and New Year. She likes the run up to Christmas. I think she's always done it like since we were kids. So I think it's just become. Oh no, but you would do as kids because you got the run up and you got the excitement yeah. and they're at home from school and everything, aren't they? Right. Yeah. So. And then do we top stitch around the top edge? We do. Right, whilst you do that, I'll yeah. just uh, recap the bundles. Denim is this one here, the most popular. So what you get in your kit is you get your instructions. You get half a metre of blue for your lining. Just waiting for the camera to kick in. There you go. Then you get your three fat quarters of your denim, your dark, your medium, and your light. This is the four ounce denim, the lightweight denim. Eighteen pounds and ninety nine pence. That's your option one. Then your option two is your grey, which your sample is made out of. So you get half a meter of the grey, and then you get fat quarters in other, the other greys there. Eighteen ninety nine. And then your next one is well, they've called it red. Right. <laughs> I'd love to know why they think it's red. It's never seen red, that, has it, no, really? No, never. There's not even any red in it, is there? No. So you've got your peach here, or your apricot here as your lining, and then you've got your peach, your cream, and your rust, or your caramel, as your main uh, fabric there. 18 99 You can buy the pattern on its own if you want. Very popular. Well, obviously, because we've all got we've all got fat quarters at home. You could do it with your Liberty. Oh, actually, if you bought the Liberty fat quarters earlier, you make a gorgeous Liberty patchwork, couldn't you? And then use, use half a metre of your fabric that you've got in your stash to line it with. That would look very nice. Yeah, wouldn't it? Mm. Uh, 9 99 uh, Bernie says, Emily, such a lovely girl and so stress-free demonstration. Perfect. Oh, thanks. Uh, 9 99 the pattern. Then we've got the H640, which is a metre piece. That'll be enough to make two bags. So it's a metre piece, let me show you. Oops. Come on, John. There you go. Meter piece. Yeah, I know. I just, I leant on the cushion earlier and it just kind of went, jolted a little bit. Yeah, I did a four. I did, yeah, you're right. Well, it was right. a four, it's a trip, it's a trip, it was a trip. I spent <laughs> the morning in A&E, didn't I? I've never you been did. to A&E before. Uh, anyway, same machine. Same machine, lots of you got it in your baskets. Remember, you do get a fabulous bundle day, three meters. There it is, all that, you get all that as your gift. It's worth over 103 pounds plus 50 pounds off the machine. There's only, well, there were only six earlier. There's still six, yeah, still six of those. Yeah, that's all that are left of that bundle. And then if you've not bought the calendar yet, there's your chance to buy the calendar. Now, it should have been 12 99 this calendar, but because we didn't have an early bird, we did it as the early bird, so we took money off. So it should have been 12 99 9 99 for the John Scott 2023 calendar. Message on the bottom. Hi, John Nemley. I've been looking for a suitable calendar for my sewing room. So chuffed to see yeah. yours here today. Merry Christmas from Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. You and hundreds of other people are going to have in your sewing rooms. It's very flattering. 
And there's a message for Emily. Congratulations on your engagement. Your ring looks beautiful from oh, Glynis. Thank you. So he did well then, did he? he? Choose the yeah. one you liked. It's very me. That's it's very me. That's lovely, isn't I it? I love it. Oh, and you love him as well. Yeah. Well, you'd have to really get married, I yeah, suppose. It's not bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> now you're back in an hour I and am, you're yes. making the dress behind the you dress, in an yes. hour. And it's one that comes from a book, the lovely book. So don't miss that in an hour's time. In the meantime, I've got uh, sewing machines, I've got the big iron, I've got dressmaking fabrics, everything coming up straight after this break. So, what are you doing on Brilliant. Christmas Day? Come and join me and Alison, Mary and Mary and Alison from 8 till 12 on Sewing Street. I know, we've got William Morris fabrics, we've got a William Morris quilt and we're going to be reading out your Christmas messages. So you need to get them in now, right? And you need to send them to studio at sewingstreet.com. That's studio at sewingstreet.com. Come and join us, we have such a lovely time. Remember though, it's only 8 till 12 on Christmas Day. It happens at Christmas all over the town. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating with the people that you love. And I'll see you in the new year. Bye. Feel these vibes. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Merry Christmas everybody. Um, thank you ever so much for all the support that you've given me in 2022 and I cannot wait for 2023 to bring you all the new designs on Sewing Street. Happy New Year everybody and have a fantastic Christmas from me Becky Alexander Frost. Bye! Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! everyone it's Cara here I'm just popping by to wish you all a really happy Christmas I hope you manage lots of wonderful sewing in 2023 bye bye hello everyone Staffine Brooks here I just wanted to come in here and say Merry Christmas I hope you all have a fantastic day and a happy and healthy new year it's been a great year spending time with you and being able to sew with you as well and create loads of new projects. Uh, bring on 2023, where we'll hopefully have lots of new projects for you and get to meet some more of you as well. Anyway, take care, stay safe and Merry Christmas. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello everybody, it's Claire.
Claire from Native Lighting and I just wanted to wish all of Sewing Street viewers a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I look forward to seeing you all on set in December and January. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Now remember at the start of the show, I'll bring the graphics in for the calendar because I need to explain something to you, right? So at the start of the show, this calendar should have been £12.99. We weren't given an early bird by Hayley, so Ben and I did this. Hayley's been on the phone going, how dare you reduce it to 9 99 So because she wants to be the boss, and she wants to be like, you're not making decisions. She has now done this. Oh, hang on. What's the matter? The computer's not working. The computer's not working. Right, I'll, can I tell them though? Or will it not do it? Right, okay, I'll have to come back to that, but it's going lower. It's going lower, I'll have to come back to that in a minute. I'll have to come back to that in a minute. And if you've already bought it, everybody will pay the lower price. Everyone will pay the lower price. This is Hayley trying to be, you know, one up on us because we reduced it. She wants to reduce it as well. But I'll tell you about that in a minute. We'll tell you about that in a minute. Right, okay, this is Overlocker and Sewing Machine Fabric. No, not Sewing Machine Fabric, just making fabric. You know how much I love this machine. I'm not going to spend hours and hours and hours talking about it. This is the gorgeous Air Threader Overlocker. If you're going to start really doing lots of dressmaking or, or any kind of sewing, really, Jane from Elna has even made a quilt top using her, her overlocker. Right, this is always cost, will always cost you... Right, now, I'm saying that it will always cost you £1,059. However, we know that prices are going up. We know that Native Lighting will already have to put their prices up. We haven't passed it on to you yet, but there will come a point when we have to. The same will happen with Elna as well. They will have to put up their, their prices. Oh, something's happened to the threads of this while we've been... Uh, anyway, um, the Air Thread Overlocker, £1,059. But the bundle we've got to go with this today, it's got £87 worth of, um, of goodies. You get this... which is your mat to put underneath your overlocker. You get, because it's dressmaking, five meters of calico. Uh, that's right, five meters of calico. And then now you get this here. You also get this. Now this, don't use this on calico. This is only for stretch fabric, but you can use these aero, uh, uh, overlock, um, uh, they're called aeroflock, aeroflock, right? Um, yeah, do not use it on your, st on your uh, stable fabrics. It's only for stretch fabrics. Swimsuit or leggings maybe for the gym or something like that. Not hot pants, no. Because hot pants aren't stretchy normally, are they? Oh, okay, Ben's are. Hang on, let me just read. I'll tell you what it says on here, right? A soft, fluffy looper thread for the overlocking machine. Ideal for elastic seams on underwear, lingerie, sportswear, swimwear, and knitted fabrics. Also ideally suited for decorative seams, very high elasticity and excellent sliding properties. Durability, including with frequent washing and exposure to stress. Disruptions free sewability, even on sophisticated multiple overlock machines. And it has to be on a stretch. 
It needs to be on a stretch. It needs to be, basically, if you think about a swimsuit, when you pull a swimsuit on, it has to stretch to come on, or, or tight shorts or something like that. They have to stretch to go on, don't they? You wouldn't normally, that, that would be a cover stitch, I think, on what you've got. Not an overlocker, it'd be a cover stitch. St stitch, stitch on what you're wearing. Right, okay, you're learning, you're learning, you're learning. Right, so that's your five meter calico. That's your mat to keep your overlocker on. And then you also get this as well, right? So now it's an air threader. I always say that you'll end up, you will end up threading this quicker than you thread your sewing machine. Julie Vaughan's got one of these, she absolutely loves it. Oh, has the sound gone or is it just me? No, your sound shouldn't have gone, Tina. Shouldn't, your sound shouldn't have gone. Right, anyway, 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 anyway. So how you thread this one up? I'll just switch off while you thread it up. Open the gubbins box, open the front here. The, your lower looper and your upper looper here and here are threaded by air, basically, by air. You don't need to thread up the machine at all for the lower looper and upper looper. What you have to do is you turn this switch here to threading, you turn that one there to lower looper, you turn this handle, hang on, until it clicks, there you go, once it clicks, that has realigned all the tubes and everything, you then bring your thread down, put it in the hole, make sure you put it in for an inch and a half, you lift this, push that down, and it shoots the thread through, it's incredible. It's incredible how it works, really. Then you do the same with this one. Move that one to the other looper, the upper looper. Do exactly the same and thread that through. And then to, throw, to, to thread your needles, right, all you literally do is take your thread through here, down here, across here, over the top of there, down, and through your needle. And you don't even have to thread the needle yourself because, look, you've even got a needle threader. All you do is just move this from right to left, depending on which needle you want to thread. One thing you must do is never, ever, ever use sewing machine needles in your overlocker. You only use, you do get needles with this one, you only use your overlocking needles, and one should be higher than the other, so don't try and make them so that they're the same height. Uh, and then you're ready to go. Straight away, you'll get it out the box. You will be stitching within minutes. I mean, it is, it is absolutely fantastic. And then once you've got it up and running, switch it on, put your gubbins box in. And then an overlock, of those you don't know, literally just finishes the edge off. If you look inside, anything... In fact, I bet you any minute I've got it on this one. Anything... Oh, I can't twist my arm around that far. Oh, no, mine's got French seams on it. Blimey, that's a bit posh. Anything with, uh, with a seam that just needs finishing off... You literally just get your raw edge. Hang on, there we go. Pop it in your machine. I always just lift the front of the foot like that. I don't bother lifting the whole presser foot up. And we're off, finishing off that edge, that jaggedy edge there. Trimming as it goes, and it, oh, it does what it says, it's overlocking. So what it does with the four threads, it actually sews two threads of straight stitch, and then it's uh, the other, th the uh, lower looper and the upper looper are just um, covering the edges there. So it can cut the fabric. Look, there's the fabric that's cut off. It's got the blade. You don't have to have the blade on if you don't want to have the blade on. You can do it without that. And you've even got a marker. Now, one thing I would say is, um, if you're making a garment for the first time, I wouldn't necessarily overlock the seams together right at the beginning because you don't know if you might want to alter it or not. And if that's the case, what you do is each, as you cut out each piece of your pattern, just overlock around the edge so it finishes off the edges. So it if you're using a linen, oh, actually, I've got a linen here, right? So if you cut out, let's just do this. Oh, quick message. Thanks to Spit Pair, I was able to get this great machine. I've never used an overlocker before, and within five minutes, I threaded it and tried it. There you go, that's Karen. Right, oh, here you go, right, right. So pretend this is your panel, your pattern piece, right? So you've got, it, it's no such pattern, but imagine that is your pattern piece. With it linen, as you work with it, it's gonna fray away, right? So what you can do is just take the edge of it. Don't cut anything away while this, because your seam allowance is on there. You literally can just start. So I'll just run that off so you can see. So literally, all of your pattern pieces will have been, fin the edges will have been finished off. So then if you sew them together with your five eighths of a seam allowance or your centimetre seam allowance, your edges are finished off anyway, but it's not gonna fray away. It's a brilliant machine. I absolutely love the overlocker. And everyone says the same thing as Karen. Never thought they needed one, never thought they wanted one. Um, the whole thing about overlocking is that you, um, 
you uh, 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 it's the threading up. It's the threading up that's a really, really difficult bit, right? So when Elna brought in their simple ones, their 664 and the 664 Pro, it was like, oh, this is so easy. Then they brought the air threader along. It was like, oh my goodness, this is unbelievable. If you're gonna buy an overlocker and you can afford it, this is the one you should be getting. Um, oh, another message. Uh, morning, John, do you overlock before you sew it together or sew first then tidy up the seams with the overlocker, Susie? Whichever way you want to do it, right? So what, when I worked in theater, let me, let me just explain, right? So when I worked in theater, you'd have your fabric like this, you'd put your pattern piece out. Let's just get a pair of scissors. Oh, can I have some scissors, Cat, please? Sorry. Thank you. So you'd cut your pattern piece a lot. I'm just going to pretend that, that that's my centre back. Uh, that's my neck. That's my shoulder. That's my armhole. That's my side seam. Right, just for example, right? So I've cut my pattern pieces out like that, right? And you know you're going to be sewing these together. That's your, let's say that's your centre back there. That's your centre back and you know you're going to show your shoulder seam together. You can either sew it together like, you need to get your right sides together, right sides together. Right, obviously I've got, I'm sewing two backs together. Oh, actually I can do it down the centre back, right? So you can either do it so that you sew it together like this. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Because you've got a little marker on the machine where your five-eighths of an inch seam allowance is. So you know you're going to um, get the seam in the right place because you're doing a line of construction stitch and you're also doing the line of finishing off. So you could sew the centre back seam together like that, right? So it's neatly and beautifully done, right? And then obviously the seam is there, so it's all beautifully stitched, right? The trouble with that is, if you need to alter that seam, you've got to unpick all the overlocking and you've cut the seam allowance off. Whereas what Victoria, not Victoria, Rebecca Harrison does, is say she's got a piece like this, she then, goes round the single piece like this. Is Emily's machine on? Yeah. So she goes round the edge like that. Hang on, finishes all the edges like that. Let me just show you. I'll just very quickly go round the edges like that. So she would finish off all the edges. Before she's sewn anything together, she's just finishing off the edge. This is what we do in theater a lot, okay? Right. So what she's done there, you see, and what I've done here, is I finished all my edges off like this, just on the single layer, that's right. Just on the single layer there, you see. And then you chop off your raw edges like that. And then what you do is you then put your two overlocked seams together like that. Go to your sewing machine. She's got a straight stitch here. This is very roughly sewn. Right, hang on. Reverse. Cut. Right. So then what you do, or you could do it like this, you see. So you've overlocked your edges. Oh, sorry, hang on. There you go. Overlocked your edges. Then you've sewn your seam there with your sewing machine. Then you can press the seams open like that, which means if you then need to alter that, if you need to take it in or let it out, you've then got all your seam allowance still available to do it, and you just press that open like a normal seam in dressmaking. So you can do it either which way, either which way that you want to do it, you can do it like that. Okay, message. Yep, once you use an overlocker, you won't go back. Air threading is a luxe must from Lisa. There you go, it is. 
1059 pounds morning john how do you tidy up the long stringy bits at the start and the finish over right okay lord it depends what you're doing so on my if you're just going around the edge i just chop them off right but uh, normally the seam that you're overlocking is going to go into another seam with some stitches over it what you can do is if you're just overlocking the whole thing together is you can either just chop them off like this And uh, you can put a bit of fray check on there if you want to, but you don't need to. Or, oh, I haven't got one with threads on. Or, if you really want to, you can take the threads and stitch them through and back up there, like you do with on a, on a quilt. You can put the threads up there. But uh, normally, I just chop them off. Because it, very rarely does overlocking come unthreaded. So you could just pull and pull that in. It's not going to come unthreaded. So you can do you can do either of those. I just literally run it off the edge and then either trim it off or just just kind of sew the, the, the threads back into the seam. All right, so that's that, that's that, that's that. £1,059. Has Hayley come back to us yet about what we can do? Oh, okay. Okay. Right, okay. Okay, now the other thing I've got to show you today. Oh, hang on. Uh, we hadn't thought this one through. Let me just try and lift this one up. Here. There you go. I'm only worried. I'm only. I'm only being extra cautious because it was. I, it was setting up the overlocker the other day where I tripped over the cables. Right. Okay. So that's that. Now the other deal I've got for you today is this one. Right. Hang on a sec. Do not do this at home. Do not. Once it's switched on, do not move this around at home. This is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic guide. Right, now it's meant to be £349, right? Uh, and uh, Franklin said we could do an introductory offer of £50. We've never, ever, ever taken that off the deal, right? It's always been £299. However, there's another deal to be had. There is another deal to be had. Watch this, yes, I know there's cables everywhere. £249. Now, I know lots of... We said we were never going to get this back, and I do apologise, because I did the show where we sold the last ones, and we said we're never getting it back, never getting it back, never getting it back. Then we got it back, and they kept this one. So it's £249. £83 split way three times, right? Now, let me show you, take you around the machine. So up here is where you fill your water. You put your water in. Now, it does come with a bottle... To fill it up with so you f you must always 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 fill it up before you start any work on it right because once it's hot the pressure within this system you can't well I, I say you can't you can if you force it you can open that but we had a boy at sewing court who did that and completely could have it could have been a really really um, awful outcome because it's all working on pressure so you fill it with water at the beginning of every day that you're going to use it this if you can use it as a steam iron um, and then and this also if you've got kids or anything around the house this doesn't come off you can't just screw this off you have to it's like one of those um, pill bottles or a bleach bottles you have to push it down and twist it push it down and twist it so it's not the most easy one to get off Oh, okay, right, I've just heard this is the last day we can do this deal. Capital letters from Hayley. This is the last day we can do this deal. Oh, obviously, remember I was saying, remember I was saying they've forgotten to do it, right? That's what, that's proof now that Hayley, because this is the last day we're going to do this deal. Right, okay, so that's the way you put your water in. If you want to uh, re regulate the pressure of which the steam comes out, there's a little dial here just to turn around. I'm not going to show you that. Right, on the front of the iron here, you've got two switches. You've got your switch to switch it on and your switch... Let me turn that around for a cap. You switch to switch on and you switch for your steam, right? Uh, once the red, this light will come on when you first start, that's set it's on. If this red light starts flashing, it means you're running out of water, which means you must stop the steam straight away. This is the actual iron itself here. And now I'll turn it away from the camera because look at the, look at the steam, look at the, oh, look at the steam. Whether you are ironing, whether you're doing curtains, whether you're doing mattresses, whether you're doing uh, sofa covers, whether you're just pressing a piece of cotton, right? R runkled up cotton like this. Hang on, we're just coming to the upstairs camera. This upstairs camera's got a complete life of its own. Right, here we go. Oh, now I've just ironed a crease into it, but look. Now it doesn't matter if you're doing cotton, or what, look at that, look at that, how it's just taking out. I'm not pressing hard on it. 
It's not. It's taking out the creases, but not just on that, on things like linen as well, which you know gets very, very wrinkled up. Uh, you can do it on wool as well. It works. Look at this. It's fantastic. You don't have now if you're doing piecing and you don't want steam, you don't have to use steam with it, but it is fantastic as a steam iron. This weighs at one and a half kilos. It's got a cork handle, so it's not going to get hot. That's your button there for your steam. Look. That's your button there for your steam. It's got an old traditional dial on it there, so you can do one for silk, two for wool, three for cottons and things like that. But as I say, you don't have to use it as a steam iron if you don't want to. The thing is, right, the thing that's also brilliant for is if you've got curtains that are looking a little bit tired, whatever, and you want to steam them, you can do. Because you can st it steams upright as well as down on the table. Um, during lockdown we did a lot of sanitizing and everything like that if you're because you know your mattress you shouldn't keep your mattress for longer than eight years because at eight years it will weigh twice the weight it was when you bought it and that's because it's full of dead skin cells and like um yeah but what animals are they little bed bugs poo and things like that and dead bed bugs and things if you want to sanitize it you can literally sanitize this if you've got a sofa that your cats sit on like when norman and ellie were getting a bit old and they'd accidentally leak or something i could just sanitize the sofa if you haven't got covers that you can take off and wash sometimes it goes through to the main upholstery doesn't it you can literally use the steam to sanitize and i know you're thinking why how would I, how am i going to get that great big iron to my sofa or to my curtains well it's because it comes with this right now we look this up you can you can pay a hundred pounds for something like this this comes within the deal right the iron unit fits perfectly on the top here you see on the top there right and it's got stops at the corner so it's got it's not going to slide off or anything and you could just so you could just slide it around you could take it to the bedroom to the curtains or whatever now I know you're thinking well, my ironing board's not big enough to have this on the bottom. You put the iron base on here and then you have it under your ironing board or beside your ironing board. And you never have to move it. All I ask is that you fill it with water beforehand, before you even start using it, because otherwise if it runs out of water while you have to wait for ages and ages for the pressure to die down. It's like a pressure cooker, isn't it? Anyway, £249. And this is the last time I can offer it to you at this price. So it'll go back up to £299 tomorrow. Be back up £299. Do what, what? Right. It's made by Dukey, right? But it's made by their industrial unit, which is um, the ones that make the riveter machines and things like that. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to say is it comes with one of these, the Teflon plate, right? For really, really delicate. If you've got chiffons or something like that, it also comes with one of those as well. And you only pay three ninety five post and packaging. Comes directly from um, Franklin. It doesn't come from us. Uh, and you enter into the competition. But also, if you came in and already bought a magnetic clasp, and then you buy this, you still only pay your three pound ninety five post and packaging. You bought the calendar, which I've got news about in a little while. Just waiting for Haley to get back to us. At two hundred and forty nine pounds, and now I'm going to have to go over that side to do the fabric because I can't lift this up. So I'm going to have to go over this side to do fabrics. Right, so dressmaking fabrics I've got now. Start with what? I can't hear what you're saying. Oh, this one, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, now we had this for the shirt that we did last week, last week, the week before, wasn't it? Oops, I just dropped the black. Right, so are these are bundles, they're already cut. Thanks. So which one do you want to do first? Oh, oh yeah, they're all bundles, yeah. Oh, the big check, that one there, yeah. Only two of these bundles left. Right, hang on, I've got some fine just Oh, hang on, everything's in the way. There we go. Here we go. So it's two and a half metres. We don't know why it's 18 99 because some of the bundles were way more expensive. Same fabric. It's a polyester and wool mix. I think it's 80-20, this one, isn't it? Anyway, it's uh, two and a half metres at 18.99. Yep. Some of them are 80 and some of them are 90%. I just need to find out which, one's, which one is. Beautiful. Look how wide it is as well.
Right, so it's 90% polyester, 10% wool, this one. There you go, look. Now we did it for, oh, I know, we did a blouse. We did the blouse with it. It was a blouse that we'd made before, Sussex Seamstress blouse, in floaty fabric, and then we made it last week in the more lumberjacky kind of fabric. It's really lovely and soft, and 90% uh, polyester means you can wash it as well. So that's 18 99 that bundle. Then we've got the tan bundle, same, uh, same um, composition. Sorry, I've left it in the right mess down there. Look at the price. This is the same composition as that other bundle, but it's £28.99. £28.99. £28 still beautiful, still worth every penny, but it shows you what a bargain the big, uh, the big check one was. £28.99. Beautiful colours in there. And then we've also got the small check. Now, this is exactly the same pattern as that one, but in greys and blacks. 28.99 so that shows what a brilliant brilliant price the big check one was at the beginning but there's only two of those left gorgeous okay now where are we going to go next I haven't got any boucle. No. I haven't got any boucle. I've got I've got waffle. I've got jersey. I've got um, the webbing. And I've got denim. And I've got spot. Just check. We we'll just check. Is there anything else on the trolley? I've got I've got sweatshirting, and then I've got the ribbing to make the cuffs of the sweatshirting. But I haven't got any boucle. Okay. Right. I've got the red, I've got the black, and I've got grey. This is the other day when we did the hoodie, uh, not the hoodie top, yeah, the hoodie top with jewels. What we should have done is actually brought jewels, we sh with Jules's pattern still on the website. It's a really, really lovely pattern. Um, anyway, let's, which one do you want to do first? Red first. So this is gorgeous because it's so fluffy on one side. 28.99 for a two metre bundle. This is like your jersey, like if you're making a sweatshirt, but on that side against the skin, it is the softest, softest, softest. 28 pounds and 99 pence for two metres, it's extra wide. Red, red sweatshirting. Right, then we've got it in the black. I'll just pass the top of it there. And we've got it in the black. There you go. Two metre bundle, 28.99. Gorgeous. I just told a fear actually, I said we had the, the ribbing for the cuffs, but we haven't. That's the black one there, 28.99. I've got it in like, a, well, I don't know if it's white or cream or ivory. Yeah, this is cream. This is the cream one then. To me, it's so beautiful. This is so soft. I can't tell you. 28.99. It has been. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Then I've got the pale grey, which is like a mild grey, this one. That one's got white fluffy on the inside, if I give that to you. Beautiful. Just tidying up as we go in. Here we go. Thanks, Kat. Right, yo. Now, remember I said about the calendar, because that's the sweatshirt things done there. So the calendar is supposed to be twelve ninety nine. Ben and I chose to take it to nine ninety nine. Oh, actually, we have to put the graphics in. Oh, uh, what, what's yeah, yeah, twelve ninety nine. We took it to nine ninety nine. 
Hayley, Hayley has gone, excuse me, I'm the only one who's allowed to reduce prices. She wants to reduce again. So here we go, this is what Hayley's done. You can thank her. Now, if you've already checked out, this is what you'll pay. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it, right? Six nine nine. So all the hundreds of you who've checked out already at nine ninety nine will now pay six ninety nine. Right, Ben. I want you to just write it down for me on the on the side of how many we sold at nine ninety nine. At six hundred, six hundred, not six hundred, six pounds and ninety nine pence. For the John Scott calendar, 2023, everyone who's checked out at 9.99, you will only pay 6.99 now. Gorgeous. I'm not going to turn any more pages. I want to spoil this, to spoil the surprise for the rest of them. Make sure you check out, make sure you check out, make sure you check out. At 6.99. Now tell your friends, tell your friends. Everybody who's checked out will now pay 6.99. £6.99. pence. Unbelievable. It's just Hayley trying to pull her weight now. And she's got a lot of weight to pull, believe you me. I'm not gorgeous. The calendar's gorgeous. The price is gorgeous. I'm not gorgeous. Is that what she says? <laughs> I won't read that out. Anyway, it's six. Well, oh, she has, hasn't she? No, it's Hayley's one of these people who's skinny, right? And she sits there going, oh, I'm so fat, I'm so fat. I'm on my diet now, I'm on my diet. And then she'll see a packet of, like, Quality Street and eat a whole packet. There's, not, there's nothing of her, but she's the one who keeps saying she's overweight. At 6.99. Keep going through for that, keep going through for that. I'm going to put that back on the shelf. Tell your friends about it though, tell your friends. Right, moving on with the waffle fabric now. Now we did that beautiful Jules um, dressing gown with this. Now we did have it in about four or five colours, didn't we? We've only got two colours today. I've got the uh, mushroom, mink. Now they call it something different, I think. It's not dark grey. It's not dark grey at all. It's mushroom, minky, it's gorgeous, beautiful waffle fabric. Cotton waffle fabric, 58.99 for your five metres, and there's only four left. Four left. Please, 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 if you missed the show, go onto the website and find the jewels patterns. I'm sure there must be some left of the dressing gown. 9th, 9th of December. Blimey, it feels, it feels like she was only in last week. I know. 58 99 that one. It's beautiful. It's going to be like you're in a luxury spa if you wear your dressing gown out of that one. Also, what I love about this is you can get a toweling dressing gown, can't you? And sometimes it's a bit too heavy, it's a bit too warm, especially when you just go out of the bath or out the shower and you're already hot, and then you put a toweling dressing gown on, you can, oh, I'm getting a bit sweaty again, now I'm going to get back in. Whereas this gorgeous, lightweight, and of course it's cotton, Fifty-eight pounds and ninety-nine pence. Beautiful. What's the matter? Fifty-eight pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now, what other bundles have I got here for you? I think these. Oh no, there. There's a bundle. That's a bundle. That's a bundle, and that's a bundle. So this is the fabric we just used in the bag. In the bag, the, the four ounce denim, they call this one. I've got light, medium, and dark. That's the color, not the weight. Started with the lightest one. And just tell her we've shown them all but two. 23, well, she'll have heard that now. 23.99. Also, well, I'll, I'll tell you what I can do. If you've bought the calendar and you want to have a, a sneak peek of all the other pictures, just go to more details because they put them all on the website under more details. 23.99, three and a half metres. I can't remember what this, this was for. 
I can't remember what, what project this one was for. Three and a half meters. It's a, it's, it's, it's not four ounce wash denim. It's a chambre, right? It's a lightweight dressmaking weight. I don't know why they call it four ounce wash denim because it's not. It's much lighter weight than that. It's a chambre. I say it every time we have it. Look, it's, a be I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely beautiful. But it's a, a dressmaking weight, a chambre weight. Lovely, isn't it? Twenty three ninety nine for three and a half meters. So hang on. So twenty four pounds. That's seven units. Seven into twenty four. Seven threes are twenty one. That leaves three. So it's like about three pounds forty something a half meter. That's wrong. That's not right. Well, if you wait, you get seven half meters. What's twenty three ninety nine divided by seven? Three forty two. That's not right. Because look at the width of it. Look at the width of it. Beautiful. That's the pale one. Now we've got the medium colour here. These are uh, three and a half metres. Again, same price. Twenty-three ninety-nine. Beautiful. Then we've got the indigo. Lovely. Dark. I like this one. Well, is it on your sheet? Twenty-three ninety-nine. not on our sheet that's why no I was gonna say we would have we would have when we checked it oh hang on hang on, it's on the sheet. that's not blue clay oh okay so so basically we should have some boot clay they've sent the wrong fabric up right and it's been ticked off the list saying it's here but it's not here because that's not boot clay beautiful and then I've got Spotty. Let me just look at the piece of paper. Piece of paper. Yeah, because it's supposed to be a four and a half metre bundle. That's not, yeah. yeah we haven't got any boot plates. They've sent the wrong fabric up. Right, then I've got, now these aren't bundles. These are uh, cut by the half metre. Cotton poplins, these are. I've got red. Oh, this is weird. Something's happened with the labelling this week. We've had fabrics coming up with no labels on at all. And then this one's in a fat, fat quarter bag. Anyway, it's 3 99 for half a metre. Beautiful. Uh, cotton popped in. Lighter weight than uh, your cotton, uh, the, you know, the normal cotton we sell. But beautiful for dressmaking, children's clothes. Things like that. Oh, here he comes. What do you want, Roy? Oh. Is this your last visit before Christmas then? I don't think so. Oh, don't, don't. It's going a bit balmy. It's going a bit balmy, is it? Yes, it is. Oh. The last minute. Come and say Merry Christmas to the ladies and gentlemen, because you might not see him again. What? Well, no, they're not. No, we'll oh, see you, but Merry you might Christmas not. Christmas, sure. That's it. <laughs> and Happy New Year. It's, and his name's not Roy, it's Brian. Brian. You take care of yourself. Oh, all the best to you. Oh, that's very formal, wasn't it? He normally gives me a kiss as he goes out, but today I got a handshake. <laughs> oh, cat gets a kiss. Cat's getting a kiss. Right, okay, there we go. Red, red polka dot. Then I've got the dark green polka dot. Old, old green. I'd call that racing, racing green myself. Old green, three ninety nine for half a meter. Gorgeous. Then I've got in a soft pink, white on a soft pink. See, this one's got a label on it. I know. Who knows? It's Christmas after all, isn't it? 
There you go, 3.99. Gorgeous. Pale pink, that one. Yeah, I've got on pale blue. These are lovely, these cotton pot plinths, lovely lightweight. This is what um, uh, Rebecca Reed buys a lot of these and mixes them in with her amber makes and uses them for the lining and things of her amber makes. Morning, John. Can you use pop plinths to line bags? Oh, there you go, Lynn. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Isn't that weird? I didn't know your message would come in. That was my sidekick. What's it going on then, wasn't it? 3 99 Got one more now than this one's a different one because it's got like um a tea dyed background with a mulberry colour on it. Oh, there's only a metre of this left. It's only a metre. Oh, here's some boot clay. Where was that? It was in a massive box. It's the pink one there as well. Oh, here we go. We found one boot clay. Like a camel. Well, I don't know what the other colours are, hang on, Becky. Uh, uh. Oh, they're, they're, they're only two. Oh, it's a taupe then. And here comes the rose. Okay, that's that one. Then we've got, here you go, here's the, here's the what's it called, taupe. Now this was used for, yeah, but I think they've had it since. Anyway, four and a half metres. Oh, ages ago, September this was. 57.99, four and a half metres of taupe boucle. I think what we might need to do in the future is when we do bundles like this, is get the pattern that went with them, then they'd make more sense then, wouldn't they? 57.99. It's lovely. And then, now we've called this uh, boucle, but it, it used to be called Italian sheep, didn't it? This is what used to be called Italian sheep. No sheep were killed in the making of this. It's beautiful. Then we've got it in the rose pink. <sighs> nice. Four and a half metres, 57.99. It's lovely. It's not, I don't think it's phrase either. Let me just have a look, see if you... Oh yeah, you could leave this raw edged. It'll fluff a bit, but it won't fray. 57 pounds and 99 pence. Do you want to do that now? I was going to do it at the end. Here's the calendar. Done a naughty on it, 6.99. Oh, it seems to have to crash it now. It's weird, isn't it? I'm confused. Uh, it should be 12.99. We took it to 9.99. Haley's taking it to 6.99. Just want to show you all the pictures. So there's January, February, March, me and my dining room, the sewing machine, uh, April, now this is Julie, my sister-in-law Julie, and this is my brother, Mike, that was us doing a fundraiser, obviously in November because I had my moustache, and that was at a summer garden party, that one. Then we got me on my holidays, then we got me choosing my shirt in the morning, that's in my dressing room at home. Then we got me, oh! That's me uh, uh, with the Indian princess bedroom downstairs. Then me and the lovely postman, Nick the lovely postman. I doubt he does. Where do you, do you live near Stratford Avon? Oh, maybe. Then we got me the day I had my beard, uh, my moustache cut off. And, there, and this is James, my barber. And then this here is the fab famous pop-in shop. Christmas, ho, ho, ho. And that's Vicky the Postmistress. Got everybody on it. And then that's it. And then on the back page, you've got all the pictures again. Six pounds and nine, should be 12.99. We were being naughty at 9 
And also, anybody who buys anything today, whether you buy the calendar, whether you buy the magnetic clasp, your name will be entered into a draw, and somebody tomorrow will win this, right? You don't have to put in a code or anything. All you have to do is buy something, your name will go in a hat, and then tomorrow morning, a, a, a name will be pulled out of that by the computer. We don't pull the name out, the computer pulls the name out. And you will win that. Now, there's a Moda quilt in there. There's Aurifil threads in there. There's the Quilted Bear steam iron in there, which you've seen uh, Emily using this morning. There's a Janome ruler and a cutting mat. They're obviously not all in proportion, though. They're all out of proportion, those pictures. But over £200 worth just for shopping today. I know. So if you buy the calendar, right, you, might, you, you could win that tomorrow. You could win that. Right, very quickly. Oh, no, I've got ages yet. Right, my sewing machine, which you just saw in that picture there. At the moment, we've got a deal. Now, I don't know when this... I suppose the deal runs out when the six machines have sold, does it? Yeah, but if they all went today, there'd be none left to do tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So what you get, the deal in this one, is you get £50 knocked off the price, which we don't normally do on Elner sewing machines. You get a metre of green, a metre of blue, a metre of gold. You get a panel to make my clock. You get the panel to celebrate the Queen's birthday. You get your pin tins. You get bobbins. You get needles, sewing machine needles. You get little snippy scissors. All things that you're going to need. A, a, a little, um, what's it, box, pill box, everything. £1,199, split pay £239.80, but you are getting £103 worth of goodies and £50 off. And a gorgeous sewing machine with an extension table with a two-year warranty on split pay. Oh, no? Lots and lots on baskets. Now, I don't know when Elna, I, I don't know if they shut down for the whole period or whether they'll send it out on the 28th. I don't know. I don't know. But you'll get it in the new year. You'll definitely have it for the new year. Nice Christmas present to yourself. New Year's present to yourself. There it is with the extension table on it. It comes, Have we got slides? Oh, we didn't show the slides for the overlock earlier. Have we got the slides for it, please? Yeah. There you go. Uh, 170 stitches, including two, 10 buttonholes, superior needle threader. Sewing, big sewing space, goes to a thousand stitches a minute. You can make it into a free arm. Uh, you've got thread cutter, you've got bobbin thread and upper thread sensors. I, I didn't know that. And uh, X-ray table and 10, you get 10 bobbins with it anyway already. Next slide. Then this is what you get, right? This, is, this isn't a special deal that we've done. This is what you actually get with the machine. So you get all your feet, your standard foot, your old hem foot, your zipper foot, your sa a satin stitch foot, your open toe foot, your blind hem foot, your overlock foot, quarter inch foot, your darning foot, your convertible free motion quilting kit, including closed toe, open toe and clear view, even feed foot, that's your walking foot, automatic buttonhole with stabilizer plate, button sewing foot, a circular pivot pin, and then you get your quilting bar guides and everything like that. I have to tell you, oh, I'll do the slides, then I'll show you around the machine. Oh, this is all the technical function. 170 stitches. You go to a nine millimeter stitch width on this one. 10 buttonholes, 91 different needle positions on there. And that's 10 kilos in weight and all that inf information you need. Is that it? Right, okay, so let me show you the front of the machine, right? You see all those feet, when I was reading them out, they all had a letter next to them. Well, what happens is when you choose your stitch here, so this is just your normal straight stitch. So it's, um, it's, we're in, zone, in mode number one, and you need to use your A foot, right? Mode number one, stitch number one, you need to use your mo uh, foot, and it says that the um, foot pedal is plugged in. If you want to sew without the foot pedal, you just unplug it, and look, the little um, icon disappears from there, which means you can then use the start-stop button on the front of the machine. This is your stitch width. This is your stitch length. Now you're almost really wondering why if it's a straight stitch, why do we have a stitch width on a straight stitch? It's because if you move this by pressing the plus or the minus, the, the needle over here will move, watch. Can you see it's just, because there's 91 needle positions, you can move it across by the millimeter, right? And move it back if you want to. Can you see it? Can you see it happening? But if you press the clear button, four and a half is that middle section there where you need it to be. So that's that, first of all. Secondly, 
Uh, your, your most favourite used feet, your A, your M, your D, your E and your F are all in little hit up here. That's your pivot pin there to do perfect circles. They're all sitting in there. While you're there, I'll show you all the stitches because we have all the stitches. So you have different modes for different stitches. So you've got your mode one here, your mode two here, then you've got your alphabet. Now remember, you've got alphabet in at seven millimetre and nine millimetre. Plus all your satin stitches and all your embroidery stitches and all sorts of things like that. You've even got a Cyrillic, um, Cyrillic uh, alphabet. So then you carry on down to here. Uh, these, this is all your control panel here. So you, that's obviously your mode where you just press that and it'll change the mode. One, two, wait, I'm gonna, I can't see, three, four, five. That's all your modes there. Then this here is if you want to set it to do a th thread cutter at the end of each uh, row of stitches and a locking stitch at the end of each one. This here I just showed you is your stitch width and your stitch length. This here is if you choose your, like, like I'll show you, so I'm in mode one. If we choose uh, stitch number 45, it automatically shows you what it is. You have to change to the F foot. You're in mode one, uh, but then here, this is the default setting, nine wide and 0.4 next to each other. But you don't have to keep that, test it on a piece of fabric, and then you think, oh, that's not what I want. I want it narrower, but I want it longer. You can, every single stitch is bespoke, right? Every single stitch. Go back to the beginning, press the C button. On here, yeah, the, the satin stitches, uh, you can choose all the satin stitches that are on there. You can choose to elongate them up to five times. So you just press that one, two, three, four, five. That there is if you want to reverse a stitch. That there is if you're doing twin needle. This is your setting. So if you want to take the buzzer off and buzzer on and things like that, they're all in there. That's if you want to lock the machine, if you don't want prying hands to play with it while you're not there. That should go back to the beginning. And then these are shortcuts. That's your shortcut to a buttonhole. That's your shortcut to a zigzag. That's your shortcut to your straight stitch there. Oh, message. Uh, I love my Elna 680. Doing a quilt with pieces as small as one inch square and it's brilliant. Couldn't have done it with my old machine from Carol in Somerset. It is a brilliant machine. Yeah. Oh, okay, Ben said he went, they went, oh, yeah, feet, feet are about 50 pounds each and you get all those feet. You even get your walking foot thrown in and everything like that. This also comes with a knee lift. It also comes, which you can only use obviously if you're sitting down. Uh, it also comes with the extension table. It also comes with a two year warranty. But also, uh, I talk about this all the time. I'll be quick because I know we're coming to the end. Uh, my mum and dad would never buy anything on tick because they thought it wasn't a done thing. We live in a different world now, don't we? Where we all have to spread the cost of everything. Now, you know what's happening to interest rates. They went up again last week, didn't they? This is interest free. So there's five interest free payments. You don't have to take that. You can pay it in one go if you want to. But um, if you want to take it interest free, no matter what happens to interest rates out there, we will never turn to you and go, oh, the interest rate's going up. You have to pay us more money. That's what you pay. You either pay £1,199 today or you pay £239.85 times. Now, don't forget when these are sold out, that goes back up to 1249 and then who knows what happens after that? Because like I was saying, that native lights have gone up. Elna have got to, at some point, have got to met ringers and say, oh, I'm ever so sorry, it's got to, it, your price has got to go up. This comes directly from Elna, remember? So I'm presuming they'll be back in on the 28th or 29th. So if you bought this today, they will start the shipping process on that day there. And of course, also, you also get this big free bundle of goodies with it today. Whereas uh, once it, uh, the information, once the deal finishes, that won't be there. Also talking about, um, Deals that finish today, right? If you want the Dukey Iron, right? Haley messaged up in great big capital letters saying, this is the last day that we will offer this deal. That's Haley said that. So it should be 349 pounds. We took 50 pounds off as an introductory price and then we've taken another 50 pounds off. Look at the split pay. 83 pounds, three, eight, three, 24, three times, yeah, three times. It's fantastic. If you've ever been thinking about that, that's this is the best time to buy that now. And your PP is only three pound ninety five. Three pound ninety five. It will come directly from Franklin's. It doesn't come from us. And you get the table with it. You get the little table on wheels with it as well. Right, I'm going to go now. Uh, after the break, we're going to make it. Oh, making this dress uh, from that lovely book. Uh, so Emily will be back to do that. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll see you in four minutes from now. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello, it's Emma from Swift Quilting Company. Just wishing everybody at Sewing Street and all the viewers a very happy Christmas. Cheers! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Merry Christmas from the planning team. And we just want to say a very Merry Christmas and thank you to all of our wonderful guest designers for making Sewing Street a great place to work. Merry Christmas. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans on Facebook and click join group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! So, what are you doing on Christmas Day? Come and join me and Alison, Mary and Mary and Alison from 8 till 12 on Sewing Street. I know, we've got William Morris fabrics, we've got a William Morris quilt and we're going to be reading out your Christmas messages. So you need to get them in now, right? And you need to send them to studio at sewingstreet.com. That's studio at sewingstreet.com. Come and join us, we have such a lovely time. Remember though, it's only 8 till 12 on Christmas Day. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. I'm doing the <laughs>